That's a rap. That's a rap song somewhere. Hey, you know Drake put it down already. Okay, now let's get the music in. <laughs> I thought I was talking about betting. I'm so glad I muted the audio from you guys. Because <laughs> I started the stream, muted your audio, I was like, well, I'm not going to turn it on. I'm like, no, let me just wait. Something tells me not to have it on yet. <laughs> you do that on your own time, Greg. <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? Why are you saying what like you're confused? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm definitely going to do a, um, uh. Yeah, you know what? I almost let it rip, but I, I muted it again. I, just, I can't do it. <laughs> I almost let it ride, but just, I just can't. I can't. I guess I'm approved. I don't know. It's not, not about it. You who, Greg? Well, Greg, you have a friend who had a girlfriend and they had a very uh, public... Uh, I can't tell if you're serious. Like this, this feels very much like Saeed's uh, used bra salesman. I mean, yeah, that 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 audio could easily be done. That's not that's not tricky, but. Why would you do that? What is wrong with you? Greg, go back to work. What the hell, man? <laughs> if, 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 if the camera work is not, if this is what you have to do to maintain your photography. Which one, Greg? Which one? Yes, your side's muted. I think I missed that one. <laughs> Let me get these character sheets up so we can get going. <laughs> okay, hold on. What am I missing? All right. Got that character sheet. Mikey's alive. Okay. I mean, how much of the stuff does, does she know does she share, though? I was about to say, we also want to know half the shit that we don't know. Yeah, I'm talking about, you're talking you about stuff. You actually know your characters, though. people fight if it weren't for me. So, oh. like, come on. Let's be for real. Come on, I, I, I love love love. We know what's going on. Right. Got it. Pew, pew. I gave her a cold MVP. Bend the knee. Oh, LaShawn gave a cold MVP. No, he gave her MVP. Oh, Asajj's peaks, peak performance. That shit was hilarious. I was like, this nigga. Yeah, I'm mad that shit was so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. This motherfucker. I think I have everything ready. Okay. Um. Let's 
so in lieu of waiting for a good transition, I'm just going to get started. Okay. You said? Nope. Uh, last time on the Challenge Echo, uh -huh. <laughs> the Misfits continued their fight against the not teenage, not mutant Ninja Turtles, and more or less rounded it out. Uh, so Laura using the possessed Donnie to kill both Raphael and Leonardo. Leaving only CJ, who was banished, and Michelangelo, who was stuck in a Neverless net. Uh, they released CJ, and having all their attacks ready, quickly dispatched him uh, before throwing the net into the hallway and using Midas's cube of force to block any back and forth. They released, uh, or they waited for the release of Michelangelo. Uh, as they rain down shots from the one side of the hallway and Mikey tries his best to defend himself. Uh, there was a last ditch pitch to try to sway him, sway him to the misfit side, but X did a great job in convincing him that they had already tried to sway his brothers. Um, believing that, he said he will uh, stick to his brother's decision and if they have any interest in swaying and courting peace to do so with their newly gained puppet. But as we pick up, uh, actually Stevan is no more as the healing spell to revive him failed. <laughs> <laughs> to X's internal delight, which he did not share verbally. Uh, but he is... His chapter has closed in the book of last year. But we pick up again with Samson. Well, I'm fairly certain we left, but that's what we're picking up. Uh, the Shiba Force is gone, per the group suggestion. Currently, Donnie is standing in the portal here, providing some cover for Michelangelo, but... Mikey is standing on the other side of that. It is your turn. What would you like Mikey, to do? Yeah, you can't again. pull up the stream? Oh, the stream. Yeah, yeah, one second. The plane. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, where's the stream? Can you uh, go through the scene again for me real quick? Uh, you're here. Mikey's there. Donnie is in between. So that provides some cover for Mikey. And Brian, can you repeat what happened after the me trying to convince him? You said it was su successful? Um, your no? deception you... to suggest that you had a actual conversation with the other two brothers who are now dead um, was successful. So he believes that you talked to them and believes that they turned you down. Okay. As such, he is going to stay true to their wishes and suggested that stay true to their wishes and he's going to die here today. And that right. if you have any interest in peace, speak to the puppet once he's dead. Sounds like a sound plan to me. Three Eldritch Blasts. All right. He's going to have plus two to his AC. But uh, let him rock. I forgot to bring that screen up. Hold on. Okay, oh, go ahead and roll it. I gotta bring it up for me though. Sixteen, uh, thirteen, and twenty-seven. Well, twenty-seven oh, damage. Yeah, that's a ten points of damage. All right, ten points of damage to start us off against Michelangelo. Okay, we have that up. And I end my turn. All right. Actually, if I'm in the way of anybody else attacking, I want to move out the way. You're not. You're all the way in the back. All right. All right. That brings us to Turtle Logan, who Oriana is still carrying. He will take a bite. And oh, that's not a detour. 
He will take a bite and miss, as he is still being held firmly. This brings us to Davina. Um, she could go in the room and try to beat him up, but she has no ranged things to do from here. Um, what's her AC? Um, let me see. She did take some shots, I think, earlier. Um, no, she's at 75. Does she have enough movement to get there and get out? Her? Does she? Um, 30 feet. She does. She'll take an attack of opportunity, though, on the way out. Just one. Just, yeah, it's just Mikey. Maybe one hit. All right, I'm cool with her going in there attacking y'all with her battle axe. Well, in lieu of anyone saying nay, 5, 10, 15. She will go in and take her two strikes. A 19 and a 12. The 19 will hit. 12 will not. Um, that is 12 points of damage, and she's going to add. Um, uh, she is going to add. Blinding Smite to it. Oh, no, she's out of third level slots. Thunderous Smite to it. Which will add a nice little chunk of damage to this. Let me, let me see if it'll roll it. Um, adding eight points of damage. So that is a total of 20 points of damage to Mikey. And he has to make a something save or be knocked back. A strength save or be knocked back 10 feet away from her. Um, and the thunderous sound as she strikes is a loud boom that can be heard 300 feet away, so in here is echo chamber. Almost blast your ears when everyone kind of reaches for their ears as the sound just ripples through here. And there's like, you, none of you are above, but there's an audible pop of water as the sound escapes through all that water because it's that loud. Bringing in much more mystery to what's happening under here. Kind of like uh, a missile, a torpedo going off on the water. Let me make a strength save for Donnie. Not Donnie, I'm sorry. It needs to be for Mikey. Um, no. He is thrown back, and since the only thing behind him is the wall, he hits the wall and will take force damage from the wall. So an additional five points of force damage from hitting the wall. So all in all, 25 points of damage from Davina. So he's dead. He's not dead. Oh, okay. As she goes back to where she started, uh, Mikey will take a swing. Which will miss. All right, that brings us to X. All right, um, X goes up to Mikey. Um, but this time um, with his dagger. What, the um, uh, Arcane's Bane dagger? No, I don't have, no, 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 just my, I got a. Just a dagger, okay. Yeah, a dagger. Um, regular melee. Okay. Um, and X says, <clears throat> as he goes to stab him, um, or strike him with the dagger. Um, 
I really tried. This could have ended differently. As he goes ahead. Okay. One thing in the rule. Alright. Is it still bouncing around over there? Uh, 17 will not hit. Okay, well, okay. Come on, natural. 13 will not hit. Nope. Almost. 29 will. Hit him up, hit him up. He ain't even one. Hit him up. <laughs> Alright, seven points of damage. That you guys sing there after this uh battle. He's still up though. He doesn't look does not look like he has much left to him. Is is Bless still in effect? Not for him. Oh. Really? I was trying to be uh, calm. Blow your blows right, or are you uh, leaving it at that? The room. Say again. Say again. I didn't hear what you said. I have no. Um, <laughs> I have no. I can... You're breaking up. I feel like you said you have no key points left. I can't hear you if you're talking, Greg. I'm not. I was, I'm about to mess it all in the chat. This is crazy. <laughs> I can hear what? that just fine. <laughs> um, no, I, I just said there's nowhere for him to escape. So out of the back way. So I'm going to go back to where I started from. Okay. So no, no bonus action. I, I, I attacked him three times. That wasn't my bonus. Okay. Got you. Got you. Right. Uh, and as you leave, as he parried the first two and the third strike hit, uh, he does say to you. This is the only way it ends for our kind. Remember that. Ooh. I've been prepared for this from the beginning. He dies as the one strike goes in with the dagger and pull it out and retreat back. That brings us to Solora. Oh, man. She could really make um. it three for three with this shit. <laughs> I four for four, you mean. <laughs> Well, as far as like the turtle killing the brother, oh, the you turtle? put down yeah. CJ. But yeah. Um, and that's, his brother is within. He's right in front of him. Yeah, I mean, but is he within like? Uh... I mean, I guess either way it doesn't matter. Go ahead, we just gonna hit him with the thing. <laughs> okay, as you once again take control of Donatello, staring down at Michelangelo with these dead eyes. Let the D20 roll. Yep. Let's see if uh, you put <laughs> natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> and him. Um, and how do you kill Donatello? Well, let's see. <laughs> or, or Mikey. Let's roll damage on this and see if it does put him down. It most Isn't likely it auto, does. Auto crit on the nat 20? It's going to crit, but we got to see. You know, if you roll like a 2, that's only 4 points of damage. We got to see what the puts it. A D6 again? Let me or check D8? what this was. Um, Okay. Yeah. Shove the staff down his throat this and stab it through his entire body. That you keep doing this shit. Um, it is a, it's a D8 and it's plus. Plus 8 or 7? No, no. no, no. Um, it was something, plus something high, I thought. It would only be his strengths if you don't get any class things, so it's plus 5. Oh, <laughs> um, so he rolled a 1. So double that 2. Um, plus what though? Five. Um, let me let me double check what the pluses are really quick. Are you stuttering? I just want to see. It'd be a cool, you know, super Sith moment if he could put him down. I just want to double check and see if it happens. Oh, because it's a magical weapon, and you don't have to attune to it. It is magic. So yeah, it is. It is plus seven. Get him, body. Bye. So yeah, how does possessed oh. Donatello kill yeah. Michelangelo? 
as uh, X first gives his statement, he says, this is how it ends for all of us, pulls the dagger out, comes around the corner as Michelangelo, Donnie kind of like looks up from his moment of, you know, in between murdering, raises the quarterstaff, Mikey just kind of looking him dead in the eyes. What do we got? So Donatello looks at him and says, I'm sincerely sorry, and I'm sure your brother is too. And then just like stabs him right through the throat. Putting the quarter like, staff clean through yeah. this turtle's throat with one solid, massive, perfect strike. It's a little chunk of turtle throat in the back. And he, I, I want him to like, like close his brother's eyes if they're open. This yeah, like, as he puts it through, and says, as we've seen, he is the strongest of the turtles. Lifts the quarter staff up so that Mikey slides down. And he closes his eyes Whoa. before no, 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 slowly no, no, putting no, him down fine. to the ground. <laughs> I, I don't know how you're going to do that. I don't know how you're going to do that. He does this respectfully, okay? That's you beautiful. respectfully put a pole through his throat. And <laughs> I mean, listen, yeah. I mean, he has to die. Okay, okay, okay so we'll, we'll, we'll do it this way. A quick poof, poof, pole in and out, catches the brother, closes the eyes, and lays him next to the other two. There you go. And then I want him to uh, sit around, like, turn around. Is it hat? Uh, we don't get disadvantage if he's sitting, right, for attacks on him? Uh, melees are at advantage. Range is disadvantage. Uh, nah, uh, we'll just turn him around and face the group. He's going to be, and say, he's gonna be uh, crawling the way it goes. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about Donnie. Oh, Donnie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, the other one's dead. We don't care. <laughs> well, I mean, you still got to, like, double tap. Oh, he's we still got to finish that. That's he's right, KO'd, that's right. but that's... Actually, there's, actually, there's no one to pick him up. He's dead. There's no one to pick him up. We'll, we'll let him have okay. died there. That's fine. Match okay, 20. so then uh, have Donnie turn around and face the group and then just say, uh, it's my time. Or I'll say, it's your time. Have him say, it's your time, like to himself. Okay. Uh, that's going to bring us out of combat as you all have won this fight. So, how are we. Wait, no, I throw poison in his face. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, killer. <laughs> Yo. I will give the floor back to the misfits as you decide how to officially end this as you still have the possessed Donatello at your command. Let's make this quick. He's so hurt enough. Are we not going to run this podcast? The Lord says. He's alive. He's standing there. I mean, so we can run his pockets while he's alive. He's possessed. Right. I want to run his pockets. No, 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 no. I mean, give me an investigation unless Slaw's going to have Donnie like, jump around and avoid it. Yeah. So, no, let's not do that. Let's kill him first, please. Oh, I mean, okay. I think we should kill him up top. But that other thing. We have to have some with him. He's pretty much just trapped in himself right now. Let's kill him first. Can he break the possession? No. How are you going to kill him? You kill him how long? Let's walk As Laura, upstairs. So Laura just takes out, uh, matter of fact, Laura takes out her, uh, does he have a dagger? Is he there? I feel like he's have a dagger. I mean, everyone kind of has a dagger. <clears throat> well, forget it. I take out my long sword. Oh, yeah. What is the world? Samson goes, whoa, 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 and hops in front of him. <laughs> hey, we, we we have an opportunity for an epic moment here, guys. No, remember we we discussed we don't want to uh, show our hand with this possession thing. So, well, why don't we we could always tie him up? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this is the second time I think you possess somebody on this stage. Is it? I think so. I'm pretty sure you did it in the first fight. publicly. Yeah, I think you did it in the first fight. I don't. I don't know that. Mm. I think you did when you're fighting the other mages and stuff. Pretty sure you possessed one that was super powerful when I got annoyed. Against Finar, I'm pretty sure you possessed one of them. Uh, we killing or not killing? They're killing. Alright. I mean, I got my sword still floating with me, I guess. Can I do it? No. What? What have you done this whole fight? Get out of here. <laughs> Out of respect yeah, absolutely. For one, may I do it? 
Floor size and then step back. Do what X do. It. X brings out his or dagger. Or gets out of X while you. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you, Salora. Um, X brings out his dagger, flips it around all cool like he's Kakashi Sensei right now. Um, and hold up, I should have already had this loaded up. <laughs> Before she step back, steps back while he looks it up, so Laura looks at Don Kello like directly in his eyes and says, oh, I'm truly sorry. All right. Do you um, want a real persuasion on that? Not really. He's dead. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's roll persuasion. Let's roll persuasion. He's not dead it's, yet. It's an eight. It's an eight. So just... Yeah, that, that hits about the way I thought it would. <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect it really to work. I mean, I had him kill all his brothers. So yeah, like, yeah, that, that hits right about where I thought it would. That's, yeah, that tracks. The dice know. <laughs> yeah, the dice absolutely knows. X, what are you doing? Okay. Um, X says the warrior's prayer, which I really need to find one and just stick with it, print it. Mm -hmm. um, he he brings out the dagger. Goes to Donnie. He's how's he land right now? How's he? Like, Donnie's standing he's standing up. Bro. He's standing. He's standing. Um, so Laura, can you please have him nailed down? I'll do a ray of frost I'll... at his feet. What? God. No. Uh, so Laura has him <laughs> dodge the ray of frost and step <laughs> up to his brothers. <laughs> All right. Um, and X brings out the prayer that he feels most befitting for this moment. And says, "My brother of my brother of the path, you chose to live by this choice, not by chance. To be motivated, not manipulated. To be useful, not used. To make changes, not excuses. To excel, not compete. You chose self-esteem, not self-pity. You chose to listen to that voice, to bring your dagger, your blade, to the darkness that took over. And for this." I give you a warrior's death. As X slits his throat and says, I wish you would have chosen differently. Boom. All right. As X finishes the prayer and ends the life of Donatello, the book closes fully on the not teenage, not mutant <laughs> Ninja Turtles. And one of their compatriots. How did Donald die? A warrior's prayer and X slitting his throat. Very respectfully, yeah. surprisingly. And some ray of frost at his toes. And some frost <laughs> around the ground there. <laughs> I will dispel uh, the visage as it comes out. All right, as the visage comes out and you right behind it dismiss it as it just kind of fades back into the ether. I give take you your a, step. Giving you a nod of respect on the way out, Shalor. Well, that was boring. Samson picks up one of the dead turtles over his shoulder and just starts walking towards the <laughs> stairs. Which one do you grab? <laughs> huh? Which one do you grab? Um, which one said that he was going to kill me after I was talking shit about the pizza? Oh, yes. That was, was it the same one who said they were going to kill me first? Yeah, it's Leo. Leonardo was doing all that shit talking. Yeah, I'm picking up Leonardo. Yeah, well, give, give me a strength text to pick up this giant turtle person. Oh, he's big. Giant? Uh, larger than you. I Do any know. of them have a... Oh. <laughs> Man, strength. That's my... Myers is taking the, the uh, quarter staff. Who has 20? the daggers? Like those, like, prong dagger thing? Oh, 20. Natural 20 for strength. All right, you can carry them. Um, the... The size were... Uh, Raphael. I want those. Okay. Can I get the nunchucks? Who has the nunchucks? Too late. He just called it before you. <laughs> nunchucks. Yeah. Terrence called it first. All right. What else is? What other weapons are left? The last the sword does, weapon was the what, sword. What does the what, what the uh, does the guy that I'm carrying have? Uh, Leonardo. Leo has swords, but if X is calling him, he can. Oh, it isn't like real uh, life. Okay. I think I gave him katanas technically in this. Let me double check. No, you ain't give him katanas. Sword, right? Yeah, you ain't give him katanas. You might give Leo katanas. If you did, then you was wild. No, I mean, I may just gave him that and use it as a different kind of set. I gave him daggers. There you go. Okay. He has... Uh, Actually, don't he has, have daggers. He has plus, his daggers are plus two. Um, Donnie's quarterstaff is plus two. 
Um, hey. Michelangelo's nunchucks are actually an item. You can just type in Michelangelo's nunchucks. Uh, mm. That's pretty cool. Dang, I wish I got that. <laughs> <laughs> and the swords. Uh, How you spell it? Oh, two daggers, daggers, right? Yeah, yeah, two. Cool. Got it. And the last one were Leo, so let me see what Leo had. <laughs> Like you guys are all picking up things you don't use. Also, um, I plus, you had plus two one. short swords for Leo. All right, use um, Chris, do you would you use those? No. All right. <laughs> what were you saying, Terrence, at the end there? Terrence. I'm sorry. Say it again. I cut you off at the end. You were saying something. You also do something. I wanted to run uh, Michelangelo's pockets since I'm taking his nunchucks. Roll investigation for me. Anyone who wants to run pockets, roll investigation really quick. Yeah, right. and Brian, the pockets I want to run are the one, the person who I was trying to persuade last game. And he didn't listen. Leo. Is, is Leo did all the talking, guys. So right, hold on. You're not going to get a sword and get to run his pocket. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you, you guys. I picked them okay, up. a lot of national 20s here. Um, All right, no, no worries, no worries. A lot in his twenties. I'm going to tell you guys like it is before you guys keep rolling more of these. Once again, as in the previous three fights, they didn't bring anything with them. Oh, nice. uh, let me see. I didn't know. Guys, wow, this is some crazy. Natural twenty. Oh, I got natural twenty. I know. That's why it's annoying. They didn't bring anything. <laughs> <laughs> they were prepared for death. Hold on. Uh, let, let me let me let me think of something they brought. Hold on. A gold tooth. Oh, Give me something. A gold tooth. All right. Well, while well, DM is thinking, Solora says to the group, should we pile them up upstairs and set them on fire so no one can uh, bring them back later? No. Um, I don't think we should do that. Um, <laughs> this isn't a uh, death where we had a grievance. <laughs> no, no. We, X, we usually do heads in a bag of devouring so no one yeah. can bring them back. I don't want us coming into this town and being seen as another issue okay. that we can deal with when we take over. Well, Laura, we'll right. take what's what's the rest of the group, sis? So. Changing huh? to change the thing. We'll, we'll take them up and behead them. No, I don't right. think we should disrespect the bodies of people who we don't have real Actually, issues. if somebody brings them back, like you, you, you're leaving doors open, X. You constantly want to leave doors open. It's not leaving the door open. Politically speaking, this town that we're about to be heads of, we need them to know that we respect those who come before us. You've already gone oh, two so fights cutting off You know where we clear. are, right? <laughs> the first two fights you won, you cut here's, off here's, everyone's Here's heads. my thing. If we were going to cut off people's heads, we should have done him first while he was alive, like I said. What? Why do you think that? This conversation is being recorded because right? just cutting off dead heads is crazy you've like been doing said. that That's you've been doing last that the last, two fights, be brought back. the last two fights the last two fights you guys have cut off like 15 people's heads exactly Do we stop off dead heads? <laughs> yes. yes yes you've been killing people oh. and cutting their heads off and putting it in the bag That's of the bowery that's your thing. Right. I, I, but see, I thought we were, I thought we were cutting off live people. No, you killed them no, first. They were dead. It was oh, the double you know what? We did start walking around and just offing heads. Yeah, we we don't even yeah. the bag. Sure, like, it was a whole battles. It was a whole thing. It's yeah. your guys' thing. Yeah, we've, we've been cutting off heads. Your brand was made. No, man, you were there doing it too. I did not get uh, yeah, off the head, I, bro. Versus Fenar bro, and them, I, yeah, you were you were going down. Say, you were gang gang for that It was like Rick and Morty when Morty started purging. Yeah, you were completely. There was no one against cutting off those heads and putting them in bags. Yeah. Now I guess the fall. Like, like, I don't care about him. This is different. That's what I'm saying. Wow. That's what it happened. This, Why this is this clear. And that was a wow. bigger group. That was a ton They've of people. Stephon. They've killed Stefan. They deserve yeah. this. Um. Oh, oh, actually, that's going. great. Let's actually yeah, go up there and say this is forced for to run and then like, cut their heads off. I, I'm opposed to this. Uh, I don't know why. I understand why, but... Okay, we can just leave them in here and torch this room. It doesn't have to be public. Oh, but no, they gotta go. But, well, but why can't we just I cut their heads off? We can! X doesn't want to cut their heads off. That's one vote. <laughs> True. I'm, I, I don't care which one. All right, we could stick with what we've been going with. Okay, okay. Yeah, really really quick, just to uh, double back to these roles. Um, we're going to say you guys were investigating all the bodies because they were all just there anyways. Um, since you guys were all 
sub 20, <laughs> above 24. I was about, I was about to snatch, snatch the bomb body up. <laughs> um, hey, yo. Mia, Mia, you found, um, Mia, you found 30 gold. Nice. Um, Samson, you found 100 silver, which is odd that he was carrying that much silver. <laughs> um, and Midas, you find is that a nonsense or not? No, that's not. Did it again. Did it again. The dice <laughs> um, Midas, you find 30 gold and a scroll that seems to kind of be locked in a scroll case. Let me roll investigation. This is going to be trash. No, they're gone now. It's all the stuff. It's all the stuff. Wait, hold That's on. I can roll an investigation for you. 16. No, you can't. You rolled yours, sir. <laughs> 16. Everything's gone. I'm sorry, X. All right, well, Katanas, please. You got the weapons. Weapons have already been... Those who called them got the weapons. This is just extra stuff. Back, back, you back to your a... conversation. Huh? Will anybody use a quarterstaff? Anybody that fights close, would you prefer a quarterstaff? Because you know I'm not... I'm not fighting man, with this shit. I have I mean, a quarterstaff. My close range went kind of well this time. I'll take it. Oh, uh, no thank you. Yeah. It's a plus, minus, minus minus plus two, two quarterstaff, by the way. It's not a regular quarterstaff. Whatever. It's a plus two quarterstaff. Just so everyone's aware. The Rift Breaker is... Oh, the Rift Breaker is not plus anything, huh? No, it just has, like, super magic on it. No, it just tickles the twine. Hmm. <laughs> does, uh... Does Ori Oriana... Would you use that? Here? I will stick with my sword, thank you. Oh yeah, I got the plus two katanas now, so I don't need it. What makes this a magical weapon to not trust? Or might it, maybe you should keep it so if someone comes in your box, you have something yeah, you can uh... I'll keep it. Um, the nunchucks are plus one to damage and attack rolls. Okay. Oh shit, I was on mute. Um is it a martial weapon? I'm trying to see, like, yeah, because I have efficient, uh, proficiency with martial weapons and simple weapons. I don't usually get up close, but I don't have anything to really protect me if I do. So, like, if oh, you want wants to I think martial and simple is what... all the weapons, Chris. Wait, what? That's all the weapons. Then do I have proficiency in all the weapons? Yeah. Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that does everything. You can use everything. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I'll, I'll take it, sure. You can't hold that and the staff of healing at the same time, just to be clear. Well, Ooh, I do have the staff if you do, right then now. your attacks would only be one-handed, so you get less damage out of it. I can't put one, like, on my back or no, because I don't have none. Well, I mean, you could, but it, it would be a bonus action to switch between them. Ooh, could I hold them both together with two hands? No. <laughs> no, oh, no. That's two different weapons. That's not going to be a thing. All right. Well, I'm going to start practicing. I'm going to start practicing. And when Samson becomes an NPC, it's going to be a problem for somebody. <laughs> At that point, Samson will have been retired. Um, you hate hitting on your swag, bro. So who, who is getting the uh, is. quarter staff? Well, you guys can decide that a little later. It's not openly. Yeah, it doesn't matter right now. Uh, what is important is what we're we doing with the bodies. And how are you exiting this room? Look, I, I stated my piece. The group is going to do what the group does, but y'all know where I stand with the bodies. Why is it important to move the bodies or do anything with the bodies? Well, we don't have to move them. Show... Oh, stop. I was just going to say show proof. Here, or, like, you know, are, are these your heroes? Just stop. Boom. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're gonna be That's taunting the, the we don't one want them to district they're taking over. <laughs> huh? There's only one no, district stop. that likes. No, no, no. no it, 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 it's not taunting. It is confirming. Like, no, no, no. Y'all thought this shit was sweet. You know no, we did it. everywhere else. <laughs> yeah, so funny. Stop, boy. Stop. <laughs> I mean, if it's important enough, I say do it. Like, obviously, the taunt and the scare people away from us. 
I, I uh-huh. think it just establishes a level of, and everybody was saying like, oh no, this is the group. This, these are the ones you're going to have problems with. Like, <laughs> and we quickly dealt with Yeah, it. I mean, why not? Spread the name of the mysteries. Let's do it. Let's right, up I, our legend. I'm not disrespecting the bodies in that manner, except for cutting their heads off. And they're cutting the heads off so they can't be brought back. Let's just cut the heads off down here. Or do we do it as a show like we always do? I, that's what I'm saying. Like, Let's do it as I, a show like I, we always do. Yeah. Let's bring them up. Yep. Okay. Ooh, can I roll a... Per- can I roll a performance check with advantage because we're all chipping in? It's like a musical. A performance to do what? A theatric beheading. Where's theatric my... beheading. Um... Yeah, man. I want it to be a show. I want to use my bard skills to... Midas, Midas turns to Oriana and says, Oriana, should I put Stevan in my lamp until we get back? No, you or should I put him in your his lamp. Body? We can carry him. A ring. We can carry okay. him and show some respect. I don't see how it's disrespectful to put him in somewhere where they don't have to see his body. You think he'd be ashamed of falling? The crowd. Um, we will I don't not know hide like them carrying over his dead body. He will not hide his defeat. He lived the warrior he died on. As a life he chose. The life you all have chosen, whether you know it or not. I'm no warrior. You simply kill warriors. So we're anti-warriors. No. (laughs) I (laughs) killed one. I mean, technically, I am. Oriana uh, hands the turtle to somebody. I'll take the turtle. Okay, hands the turtle to you as she... Uh... I thought I already got Leonardo. No, no, the Logan no, no. turtle. Logan turtle. Oh, the Logan turtle. No, I don't want the Logan turtle. So. I'll throw him in the lamp so he cools down. Is How he... long did it take him to cool down last time? We've usually knocked him out. I do not know how long it takes for him to recover. Shit, yeah, put, put 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 him in the ring. It's not... The thing is, oh, the thing do is, you know that he's in there and he doesn't calm down. Oh, are <laughs> you going to get him? <laughs> going to get him. Fuck me up once. <laughs> yeah, is that Matt Barnes anger? That would be fucking hilarious. Thirty hours. <laughs> <laughs> so where, where are you putting Turtle Logan? Is he going in? No, I'm not putting him in the ring. Okay. Yeah. Um, as Turtle Logan goes into the ring, or Turtle, uh, I said no, I'm not. Okay, oh, not. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So who is? She's mm-hmm. giving. So she puts the turtle down. So he decides to do. Right, Boom, I'll take down. him. I'll pick him up. Okay. And she goes and like gets Stevan under her arm and begins bringing the bodies as you see fit. And begins making her way out with Stevon's body. Slow going as he's I'm a, carrying Stevon. I'm going to pick up Leonardo's body and I'm going to be right behind her. <laughs> Although I am going to give like a 10 second pause to Stevon. Fuck you, X. Fuck, actually, Stevon, actually. I'll, <laughs> I'll pick up the turtle, but like, uh, I'm holding him so he can't bite me. <laughs> Good move. As he just tried to. <laughs> um, even though it would be like a point of damage. <laughs> well, actually, what's your, what's your hit class? Hit, your armor class. Because he rolled a 15. He does not. You would have missed. <laughs> yeah, he does not. Okay. <laughs> I had to check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so... I, I see, assume between the rest of you, the other three bodies are coming up as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you get the body. Oh, and I, I uh, close up the, the whole rope trick thing. Okay. You can... Somebody <laughs> drag CJ by the ankle. Don't even pick him up. You're not that strong, man. You, you do doing everything to carry the turtle. No, I said somebody. Oh, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He, CJ's got a super beef with him. I'll drag CJ. Yeah, drag him by the ankle. Don't give him the respect of being picked up. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'll have a. Uh... Solus is still up there, right? Yeah. 
All right, when I get up there, I'll have Solus take the turtle and put him in in a. Or hey guys, should I put him all in my box? That's what she said. Oh, you can pop the, the box and just kind of float up there with them all. Oh, all those guys. That will actually be a cool visual as you're ascending. Yeah, you do that. Right, I'll so give uh, Solus nice the turtle to take him back. Um. That's gonna be some rogues. They could probably bite that. They could probably. <laughs> Solus has like one hit point, I think. Maybe two. It's a lot That's of, it's a lot of rolls. You can pick him up without. Yeah, you can uh... pick him up. He can get bit too, is all I'm saying. Alright, man. I'll carry him I'm up. I'm just giving up. you a heads up. <laughs> why, don't, why, don't, why don't we give the turtle to Davina? That's fine. Davina can hold I mean, I um... can also carry him. It don't matter. Yeah, yeah give it to just... Davina, actually. Okay. Yeah. Davina will have. The players have to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Davina has mad eye, oh, mad kick. Nope. Bloody nine oh, turtle. So many fucking names. <laughs> the bloody Davina nine can turtle. Cast sleep too, right? So she gonna cast sleep on him when she gets, you know, when we get a chance. I mean, he's, he's probably more for an hour. Right, but sleep, sleep lasts what a minute? Not, knocks him out though, right? Yeah. He so falls, falls asleep so. for a minute. Yeah. yeah. Let's wow. see if that works. Mm -hmm. Well, for now, uh, you gather the bodies. We bring them out mm -hmm. into the water where you can cast the box without issue. Um, you cast the box with the bodies in there. I guess Sam's are still carrying the one, or they're all just on the ground in the box. Kind of get the visual together. Because they want to be epic. Yeah, so Samson's still carrying the one. Uh, Oriana goes out with Stevan. Mm -hmm. Ten second pause. Samson walks out with Leonardo over his shoulders. Just tosses him off his shoulders onto the ground. Boom. He just hits. Everyone's like, oh shit, what the let fuck? Let me decide what the crowd does. Let's, let's, get, let's just do what your part is, all right? <laughs> all right, all right, all right whatever. <laughs> so you're, you're bringing up Leo separately and Mice is bringing the other three in the box. Other four. Yeah, yeah let, me, let, me, let me paint the picture, though. Okay. So Oriana goes out with Stefan, 10 second pause. I come out with uh, Leonardo, toss him off my shoulders. He lands, booms, like kind of spread eagle, looking up. And then everybody gasps. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> sorry. And then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> uh, like a second afterwards, the rest of the bodies rise up through the water. Okay. And are so, dropped next to Leonardo. So, Oriana comes. You cool with that, Said? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Oriana Wait, come comes on. up uh, with Stevan's body, and the crowd does go silent. There is a hush as she's able to uh, get him up and over and get herself up and kind of uh, just lay him down and stand proudly over him holding his uh his spear in one hand and her sword in the other uh looking expectantly as a few seconds later samson comes tossing the dead body of leo and a few seconds later comes midas rising up in the box and we'll say the misfits are standing on top of the box so they can fly up midas's face is very is pissed like he got this mean grimace on he's fucking fuming right Midas face, face full of anger, the misfits riding the box. Hairs on off. fire. Hairs, Hairs on, fire. on fire. Hairs on fire coming out the water. <laughs> no, he's ill. As the misfits <laughs> rise out the water with the dead turtles amongst them, Midas bring it over, depositing them next to their brother. Um, As we rise up. Hold on, let me see. Okay, as we rise up, I want to find uh, April in the crowd. Oh, okay. I was, I was wondering if this was going to happen. Roll investigation for me. Yes. Kill her. What are you, what are you doing? her. Looking for April O'Neil. Uh, the last member of the Ninja Turtles. Possess her. Oh, Ooh. that's gone. 19. You scan the crowd, and a lot of people on the dais. On the dais, on the dais. One second. That's where Midas is from. The dais. <laughs> As you scan the crowd, uh, you do locate April O'Neil. 
She is currently uh, her face is turned away from uh, the arena as she oh. is crying into a very angry looking, very tall rat dressed in red robes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, staff, how far is she from me? With a staff like, that has blue, <laughs> orange, and the other two colors of scarves tied on his quarterstaff. Of course it does. What, um, uh, how far is she from me? Like, uh, less than 100 feet or? Probably more. Let me, let me pick a spot there gonna, that makes sense for him to be. Um, well, I will say he looks solid. You All right, forget it. And cut his fucking head off. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna when it, since I see she's turned away, I'm just gonna stare him in the eyes. He stares back. And we just gonna lock. We just gonna lock eyes. So it's down the roll. About 120, we'll call it. I was gonna send a message, but um, actually, yeah, if it's 120, I'll cast message and send to her and say, uh. Shouldn't have sent him out. At least the last one would still be alive. Or at least, uh, what's his name? CJ? You don't know his name. Oh, well. Happy <laughs> man. And then he had to die with them. I'll, put, I'll say that. Should have sent him out. Because then he had to die with them. She yeah. snaps her head around looking at you and will reply to the message and say, They were warriors. This was going to be their end one day. Okay, Yours I'm not. I'm, I I was looking at her respectfully, but like I started to nod respectfully, and then I just started laughing. That's a cash <laughs> shit to say respectfully to somebody. Hey, you got your last friend killed. So sorry. I mean, <laughs> respectfully. I mean, respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. Respect you got your last friend warriors. killed. Respectfully. respectfully. <laughs> you, you can die like a warrior. <laughs> But then she just left. Oh boy. Yeah, so Salora's thoughts laugh. So the misfits uh the crowd was quieted by the uh revealing of the death of Stevan. And as the de- bodies of the turtles torsos begin to appear, the crowd begins erupting because uh, you know, far be it from Sanson's opinion, you guys are not underdogs. <laughs> no one thought you would lose this outside of the actual turtles themselves. As oh, the misfits have two numbers. You are the almost the alpha threat here outside of Vezric himself. As the crowd Let's get it, guys. with the rise of the misfits coming from the water <clears throat> once again is successful. As you see uh, people holding up bags and like throwing pumpkins in them like yeah come on Fucking do Waiting it. Waiting for the hate. Waiting for the hate. Calling for the heads. As they start chanting, The Beheaders! The Misfits! The Beheaders! Off with their heads! Samson does the, uh, the, um, what's the dude from the boys? The Homelander. The mm-hmm. Homelander smirk thing? The, where he oh, when he, the after he blew the dude's head off? He's like, Oh yeah. my god, they're okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys are in a city full of monsters and have been monstrous. Indeed. Yeah, X, um, X can visibly look saddened when he sees this reaction from the crowd towards us. Off with their heads. The beheaders! And looking down, confused. You hear so well, yeah. The dead have no right to look at the misfits. Oh my god. <laughs> Midas, oh. Midas looks around, and if the rest of the team is not beheading them, Midas starts to like viciously and angrily cut their heads off, and, and uh, it's like some tears in his eyes. I, I'll just blast one of their heads off. No, because <laughs> no, so that's not that's not anywhere near that kind of a thing. What? That's a huge splatter <laughs> head. That's not a surgical <laughs> thing. X All something right. something. You broke up some, Greg. X. It's not coming through. Working. It sounds sad and mournful. Is there a head? <laughs> is there a head not cut off yet? No, not I mean the, the, it is the process is beginning. Uh, Mice taking one, the Vena who's always down takes another. I'll take one. I'll take one as well. Okay. The fourth one. 
Uh, the four, no, I'm still five. staring at April. Five April. Yeah. I take all their masks. And they were just like, oh, mean thing to take. All right, you take the mask. And, and, and also... CJ's too. And CJ had a, uh, yeah, he has the uh, hockey mask. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I do. Uh, I, 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 wanted, I wanted to do some theatrics as well. What are you uh, doing theatrical wise? I wanted to, you know, whistle and have my uh, my sword fly in the air. Oh I shit! Hold one of them up. team. Yeah, and then the sword, you know, chops down as hey. my homunculus cannon uh, spews flames in the air. <laughs> I just want to be clear: you don't have to do this. <laughs> but, but, Meanwhile, you know, Solar is still staring at the face. Awesome. All right, Solar is still staring down April O'Neil. And Master Splinter. No, and now this April. When she turned around, it's just her. Yeah, right now, I don't know that. Right. I don't know that. Right <laughs> um, as <laughs> the theatrical dispatching of heads proceeds, heads are removed, a body is asundered with flame, and I assume heads are going into the bag of the body. Yes. <laughs> into the bag. Of the Midas, Midas has the bag, drops. right? Oh, no, I don't know. Who has the bag? One of y'all. I thought so it was you. Pick, pick someone. It doesn't matter. I th- yeah, I thought it was you. Okay, cool. Oh, damn. I can't do it too much. Give it to Never somebody mind. else. It's not overly important. Davina. Davina has the bag. Yeah. All you, right. you can make yeah. it a moment for whoever needs to have the bag for you to do your thing. It was a, just... Yeah. All right. Davina, get the bag. <laughs> like, that's real loud. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 As the vein begins like ruffling through some things dramatically before pulling out the bag, and the crowd goes. <sighs> <laughs> to never rise again, the enemies will never see a sunrise. <laughs> they um, show up to their gods headless and blind. Oh my god. Uh, um, Solar says to Midas, Midas, you need to pull on some of those last. Huh? Do you? I was thinking of returning them to their, um, uh, person they, I'm assuming, trained under. Oh, you, you are a monk. You're aware of the term sensei, teacher, whatever you want to use. You were in a monastery for a hundred years. They, they kill Stavon. Midas is like, okay. Why is he getting back? What? Disrespect. And Midas is human. What's that, Greg? What happened? What did you say? You got maybe talk so, slower so or something. Midas, yeah. yeah. if you had plans for the turtle headband thing, headband mask. So right, she could return them to do. Can you hear me now? Yes. Awesome. I was on my phone. That was crazy that it wasn't working. Um, all right. Um, and I had, how many katanas do I have of his? Two. He had two katanas. All right. Um, as she said that, um, access to the group, I actually intend to return one of the katanas. To I'm sorry, what? One. X. Don't do that. That's disrespectful. Now, returning, just... returning a scarf ain't the same as returning the weapon. Which, by the way, you guys did come out the water brandished in their weapons. Even so, X, I mean, you return one weapon out of all of this, and you don't even return an entire set like that. I don't disrespect by this question. No, I'm not. So it's an understanding that we have. No, it's not. It will be fine. No, it's not. (laughs) You're returning one out of two weapons. It seems like you want to have your cake and eat it too, X. Just give them both katanas if you care. Midas, you live how you live in your customs. Cool. I will live how X, I live. Stop making shit up. <laughs> so, <laughs> X has is, X is stated to you always going to return one. You guys have beheaded the bodies and devoured the heads appropriately. The crowd has is foaming at the mouth. Um, Vezirik, Once the last head goes in, Solar will break, break eye contact. A- April was holding it the entire time too. After your message came through, I'm sure. Um, um, who who's the katana? Is, is... Who's what? Who held the katana? 
No, no. Uh, Solora and April O'Neil were holding a desk. No, no, no. Who who has the katana? What was his name again? Oh, it was Leonardo. Leonardo had the katanas. Thank you, bro. Do you watch the tur? Did you watch the turtles? Um, like twice the movie. At this wow. point, the custodian uh, steps forward using Thaumaturgy for his voice world. to boom. Another victory for the misfits, the beheaders, the headless haunts, as they expand their grasp and their territory in Sethrit. And there's a boom from the crowd. Perhaps Vezarek should beware. And there's a laugh from everyone, as it was obviously said jokingly, although he has a flat presentation to his voice. But everyone seemed to get the joke. Vezrig, too, who's really just loving the whole thing, laughing it out, spilling wine, slapping other people in the back. What <laughs> the fuck this fucking guy? <laughs> As is custom, you will need to name a territory lead tomorrow. Tonight, celebrate, bury your dead, and expand. Another roar from the crowd. And and that signals the end. Uh, cannon spews out fire along with the crowd roar. <laughs> <laughs> what territory was this again? Um, this is right above you, is what you just took. Was it, is it GL2, GL... Oh, no, wrong place. Wrong place. Wrong place. Um... You guys currently now possess the entire right side of the map. The yellow, pink, and teal districts. That's gangster. I can't find the map. Is it on, is it on roll 20? It's on roll 20. I can drop it in the other thing. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. You don't have to worry about doing it now, but... Um, but you guys now have control of the entire right side of the map. The only thing above you currently is Vez uh, Michael's territory. And to the left are three territories which you do not have ownership of. But uh, as eventually the cheers die down, the crowd goes on to whatever parties they had planned or celebrations or just drunken enjoying the after a fight day. As they go about their day, uh, eventually. Uh, Master Splinter and April leave as well. They leave with the crowd. Um, and if Eyes not on, then they quickly disappear into it. Uh, but what would the Misfits like to do next? Try and take over the world. Like you do every night. Exactly. Um. Oh, can so, we take a rest? I think, I think my health is low, isn't it? A little low, yeah. Ooh. You got tagged out. <laughs> you actually got dropped, so I'm picking you back up. Did you, did you get dropped? Did you get KO'd or were you just super low? <laughs> I think you just super low. He was super low. He was super, yeah, low. He was super low. I'm looking at my Savan had a district, right? No, Savan did not have a district. Okay. Savan cool. was helping defend the other two. <laughs> so we will say eventually you all make it back to your uh, the prime district, as we'll call it. Mm -hmm. uh, the first Is that one a short rest? Took, uh, it won't take an hour to get there, but you guys can, once you get there, sit and rest without issue. Okay. So, my sister, uh, we'll rest right now. You guys are approaching, I will say. You're about 10 minutes out from the spell being up. Uh, uh, we can put him down and run home. Let's put Davina. <laughs> Davina, can you put him to sleep, please? And let's see if he keeps uh, snapping at us. He whispers to her. Um, yeah, she can, I think she has a spell slot left for that. Um, could you, and if that doesn't work, would you be able to place them in your box, Midas? My box? You mean the ring? No, the box. No, with me, why would I do that? Oh, you have to be inside the box for it to activate? Yeah. Okay. Um, she can cash sleep on him, so you guys can bring him back to uh, your HQ, Pocket Aces, until you guys rename it. It's still called Pocket Aces unless you guys don't rename it, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, you set him in one of the corners, and she casts sleep on the turtle. Turtle, boop, falls asleep. Uh, a minute passes, and the turtle wakes up. Um, 
So she's still aggressive. Uh, a little disoriented. Um, but the turtle had been like trying to like get to the ground for a while now. Mm-hmm. Um, now it's on the ground. It's kind of like walking quickly in different directions. But you guys are a bit away from it. And you're not sure it has quite clocked you. Mice goes up to it. He's trying to see what's going on. Okay, you, you get up to the turtle. It kind of like sees you and kind of like turtle jumps back. And oh, let me see a thing. Let the team know. I'll be back. Um, I'm just going to try to snap at him, which it fails to do. I think Saeed said he'd be back. I heard him. It tries to snap at him, but Maya is able to jump back really quick and not get bit. Um, yeah, he had to go or something, but hold on. I think he wants to do something if he was aggressive. Hold on. Like the finale to that fight, you guys. Isn't it always? It is always. Did you want to uh, track down Master Splinter before he left? Oh, yes, I wanted to. I didn't know it was. Yeah, I did want to. Yeah, give me one second to do a thing. Um... Switching the music over takes a long time now because you can't use YouTube anymore. <clears throat> nope, nope. There we go. Oh, nice out of combat tune. Um, well, we can we can backtrack a bit to X's thing. So X, as this whole display of finality was happening you do manage to make eye contact with Master Splinter and kind of uh, look down to the katana and then like up to him to kind of give a bit of a suggestion that you want to return it yes and um, in X <laughs> um, silly, silly, in a silly fashion X attempts to like shadow step to him and then he reminds, remembers that he can't do that anymore so it's like he tries to like jump forward but he's yeah. like oh. Um, Master Splinter will uh, kind of give you a hand that says uh, later is more or less the message he's trying to give to you. This is, not, not. This is not for now. Um, the group kind of put Turtle down, sleep, wake up, Myers goes over, he is aggressive towards him. Um, beat it as it may, Outside of the Logan thing, um, it take it does take about forty five minutes to get back. So we can say uh, you can get a short rest within this period. Without, I don't. That's fine. Um, but uh, as as you all enter Pocket Aces, um, you see the bartender brother is there, uh, Callo, and his brother Gallo. You see they are twins. Uh, the twins are there, and so is. Theron, and they have like drinks ready and they're jovial and as you come in, Theron says I see you returned sorry I was absent, I didn't want to distract Stevon, I know how worked up he gets when I'm around how's it fair, I see you all here as he kind of like looks towards the door waiting for Stevon to come through Uh, and then sees Oriana come in last carrying Stevon Oh. Oh. Uh, did you not have the components for the spells? I'm sure we could scurry up some diamonds, so long. it wouldn't be too difficult. Um, no, he. The, it didn't work. We, the spell was cast. Oh. 
Oh, I see. And kind of takes a deep breath and collects himself and says, uh, I always told him I'd love him. <laughs> One of the uh, lesser uh, abilities of elves. Well, Oriana, come drink with me. We'll tell stories, we'll tell lies, and maybe a bit of truth about a average pirate with a good name. Actually, it was a great name. He surely thought so. And uh, right around now is when you guys uh, start figuring out the turtle thing. But uh, for the moment, they will uh, respectfully lay Stavon down, kind of put, uh, take his cloak and put it around and over his face. And um, the twin brothers will start preparing lots and lots of drinks for everybody. And uh, Theron, who did have, uh, had the crew in with him, they were drinking with him and preparing to celebrate their, you know, their new crew's victory. Um, they are shocked to see the legendary Stavon have fallen. Not shocked to see that he was even part of your group to begin with. And, you know, they uh, hold up their mugs. Actually, a toast. They go toast and... Theron sends one of them to go track down his crew to bring here. And one of them, he kind of gives direction to the docks. And uh, they decide to go all three because they don't know this place yet. And even though they're technically unaligned, someone may see that they were here. So the three of them go off to find Stevon's crew. Um, and we're going to have to move on because like, he's taking a while with the turtle thing. Because that does kind of need some resolution depending on how that works. So, uh, the turtle is still aggressive about five minutes until the polymorph ends. What is happening? The turtle did what? It's still aggressive. It, it tried to bite at Midas when he approached. They didn't realize that Midas approached. Um, Hold on. He, he literally is walking down the floor. Ready okay. polymorph again? Can we lock it in that room? The, the other dimension room? The rope trick thing? Yeah. Doesn't really lock from the outside. <laughs> Doesn't really lock at all. You just pull the rope up. The say is going back to his computer right now. Okay. All right, what happened? And the Bloody Nine swings one more time at Midas. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, he tried to bite you. He missed. Okay. So Midas throws his net on him. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll for that, friend. Yeah. Guys, we don't have long for this. I don't know if the net's going to help. He's going to put him into the He's going to put him in the thing. So, Mike oh, yeah, yeah. asked him first. <laughs> so we put him in the net. <laughs> How long can he stay in the net? One minute. Uh, I think a minute. Can we um, just put him in his room and like block his room? I have a crowbar. Would that help anything? I don't know if a crowbar will stop the bloody nine. No, yeah, no. But that's, that's why I was kind of, you know. I, saying let's just you know toss them right here and just run away like literally just run away from the turtle you guys are already back in your home by the way uh is there a jail that we can hold him in a jail what if we put him in a bag of holding he only has like two minutes yeah, he's yeah then he's, he passes out and dies <laughs> No, is, is there a jail? I a also think that might make him more upset. You we got, die. we have to die. figure out a way that would not <laughs> in, incite him to more violence. 
But I look at Oriana and say, Oriana, any, I mean, any oh, advice? So what you did miss is uh, Theron was waiting when you guys got back. He made a joke about he didn't want to show up before to, he didn't want to distract Stevon. Mm-hmm. Found out Stevon was dead. Uh, him and Oriana are now drinking to his his mm-hmm. legend. Telling lies, telling some truths. And he sure. sent the crew of the Cloud Scraper to go get Stevon's crew. Okay. Um, so St- Oriana's drinking heavily. So Midas goes over to Oriana. Oh, and, and the two twin bartenders are there. Both are there right now. Okay. So Midas goes over to them and he says, Look, guys, it's, it's fucked up. I understand, but uh, the Bloody Nine is going to be here in a few minutes if we don't figure out something. I was thinking we could put him somewhere. I mean, I, I have never dealt with him coming back to normal before, so. I mean, should we just I'm put him in the... We're all low on health. He might be, he might kill a couple of us. Or if we put him in your ring, could you check on him in like a day or two? I mean, yeah. I don't know if he'll calm down. <laughs> Oriana takes a drink, takes a shot, and she says, It has almost been an hour since he last saw combat. The odds of him still being mad are low. He is okay. probably more. Uh, turtles are stupid creatures. I do not believe he has any senses. If he woke up a turtle, he is extremely confused. All right, let's. Move. And- in case he is not confused, will we be able to polymorph him again? Do you uh, have that ability? No, I do not. Mm. I do. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll be able to lock him in the jail. Uh, yeah. What if we do if the polymorph fails? Um, I don't then we have any polymorphs. I said no, I, I do. No, Samson does. I have the net, Samson. That gives us how long? You said a minute. Yeah, but then I could also come into uh, the ring, and that that'll be that. Okay. He'll be stuck there, and we'll figure out what to do with him then. So you'll just put your net in the ring, essentially. Yeah, I'll drop the net in the ring with him, and then uh, I'll take a long rest, and we can deal okay. with him in the morning. I, also I like it. So we wait and let him pop out, I guess. Okay. Uh, the last few right. minutes of the polymorph fade. Uh, the turtle turns black into the uh, figure of Logan. Uh, How's he holding the sword? Well, currently, it's just in his hand, the same way he had it last you saw him. Okay. Um, as he does come back standing, as he was standing when he was polymorph, and Turtle's kind of always standing. <laughs> um, <laughs> he uh, first backs into the wall that he was turtled in, kind of takes a moment to look around. Uh, his eyes fall on the covered Stevan as he kind of lowers some and his eyes drop and he softly says, Did I do that? Uh, Steve Urkel. No, I'm playing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is how Matt Mercer feels. My goodness. <laughs> oh, Midas says, No, that wasn't you. He sheaths the sword. Happy to have you back to normal. He walks over and uh, kneels beside Stevon. Kind of says something quietly you guys can't hear. Uh, Looks to you all and say, we tried to bring him back. Yes. Yes. He nods. (sighs) Sadly, I've woken up to worse. And he goes and sits by Oriana at the bar and begins drinking with her. Are any of them paying attention? You're not sure. Okay. So I say to the guys in their heads individually. Okay, but the thing is the whole thing is still up as a group. I'm going to say, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say, I say, I say you know, 
I'm talking to you guys individually. Because you're going to send this off to each one of them. I got you, I got you. you going to say? It's the one-way should... shoot, right? Hmm? Yeah. The, the one-way, okay. Yeah. We should probably find out if he has that map to Jericho's treasure on his body. Um, because we said we would do this for him. Oh, that's why. Um, so, we can still go on that journey with his crew. But, uh, I think we should probably... What did you say? What did I say? He chooses honor in the most interesting places. I mean, he did, though. He did make some more promise. Uh, no, no one we can can't respond. We can't yeah. respond. No so. one can reply. You can reply in the group thought. You can go over and talk to him in person. Mm, right. Um. Anthem not... just shoots minus a dirty look. <laughs> minus says back to him in his head. What's that for? I'm being honest. Anthony just kind of looks at him and shakes his head. We don't have to take the goal. We said we would do it with him. We do it with this crew. That's all. So Laura Kansas, Anthony walks here. over to. Uh... Oh, so so Falora has message from Midas and says, um, "I think uh, you should talk about it with uh, Oriana, uh, with his remaining friends here." I'll say that. All right. Yeah, we did say we would talk together. So Midas, Samson Midas. walks. Uh, actually, real quick, this is what I was going to say. Um, okay. Samson actually walks over to Midas and whispers in his ear, "We should talk to Oriana about this first. You guys are pretty. You guys can like sit in like the little VIP section and be out of earshot of them. Yeah. Okay. Oh well, yeah. I'm just saying because he sent the message, so I walked yeah, yeah. over and whispered. Okay. So yeah, we do it in. The, oh. Yeah, we did say speak say... in person about everything. So let's do that. Yeah, because Solor wants to be sitting with like Tristan and them as they're like telling stories about their friends. So yeah. Minus goes out and um, he says, "Uh, guys, um, we were supposed to be doing something uh with Devon after all this stuff uh died down, and uh, we made a deal with him, and I was thinking that we should honor that deal. I know you guys weren't a part of it." But since we said we discussed things as a group, I figure you want to know. He says that looking at Logan and Oriana. Oh, you went over to them. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Logan will say, uh, as Oriana is pretty deep in her cup. Tomorrow is for the future. Let today be the past. All right. Then we drink to Stevan. It might as ask for a big ass tanker of beer. And you receive. Ask for water. It's a celebrating moment. And uh, and he's like, uh, can I get about four shots of uh, whiskey? And he's going to drop him into his beer. He's going to drink it. <laughs> Right. Or, or a sausage link. A sausage, a sausage link. <laughs> uh, this well, one. They, they do prepare prepare some food. There was food ready because Darren was expecting a celebration. So uh, just give me uh, one link. So you you receive one link <laughs> <laughs> as the rest of us scrolled away from from you. <laughs> and, uh, there's food. There's, there's beers. There's wine. There's shots. Oh shit! You know what uh, Samson orders? What's that? Samson orders a mead half full because he remembers X saying it. Oh, he shit. thought X was depressed. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, so you He's like, that must be what you drink when you're depressed. <laughs> you depressed order, uh, a mead half full. Um, and the brothers. Is that what it was? Right. That is. Um, Callow looks a little confused and goes and asks. Galdo and Gato shrugs and they pour you half of a mead. Uh, I look at my drink and I look at X and I say, I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> uh, 
as the day continues because you guys fought pretty early. Um, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's the fighting at dawn. That's oh, consequences. Man. <laughs> we have to have lunch after Stefan died. <laughs> that's why that's why they fight at high noon in the West. You can have, you know, there's not much day left. You can kind of wind things down. But um, eventually his crew does show up. Um, they join in telling more and more stories. Um, there's a few drunken tussles, as is the way. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the first mate, who's well, I can dig the name out. I'm, how far back would that be? Spindrift. I'm sorry. Did you just make up a random name, or is that the real name? Yes, I made up a random name. I'm like, how the hell does he remember this? Well, yeah. <laughs> he yeah, does was... pull random names like that, though. So that's why I had to ask. Yeah. You're not the only one. That's why I was confused. Have them all together because there wasn't. You guys wanted that shit for a while. I almost filled up this part of my book, by the way. Big book? Well, the, the part that I was using for the daily sessions or the, the sessions and keeping track of that. Sounds like it's time to level up to me. <laughs> What's above that, though? Well, no, I mean, I got other sections in here, but. It sounds like. We it's had to about move time. to a new section, yeah. That was a good point, Salar. Very good point. Okay, well, I'm going to just pull a name in a second. No, you can't do that. He has a name. He does have a name. Um, Name's Matt. Let me see if I can find it. If it's in my notes. I'm going to spend another minute on this one. I'm trying to think where I put it, because you guys... That was only 10.30. Yeah, yeah. You guys got through that fight. There wasn't much left of the fight. Finally, so. right? Shoot, man. That thing took forever. No, that wasn't our longest fight. That was like yeah, a three-week I mean, fight. Yeah. The dragon was the longest fight ever. <clears throat> Yo, y'all don't understand, man. The way we we came here, like, supposed to fight. And it was like, oh, let's let's do this. Let's do that. It took us so long just to get into this fight. We were like, oh, yeah, that's true. Scrambling around town for three weeks. No, we <laughs> weren't. We fought like two days afterwards. Yeah, you guys have only been in town for a day and a half. No, no, I'm talking about um real life. Yeah, real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Forever. Really? Yes, yo. It took, yo, bro, I felt like I was fucking just waiting forever. I don't feel that way. Yeah, that's probably mm. just on you, Ben. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, it wasn't like the fastest you guys have ever turned around. I have the Dreadnoughts crew. Right. It's just been so long since... So, Dreadnoughts crew... I don't know. Yeah, where would I keep Stevon's book? In comparison to the Green Dragon, though, this was relatively quick. I thought all fights were like the Green Dragon. So I, like, had no memory of any fight beforehand. No, the, well, the better you guys get at your stuff, the faster they go, and I can just deal with uh, my oh. side of things. I really think, as a group, we should stop saying, because I hate when I say, it. "I'm uh, Samson's gonna do something," or just do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I cannot at the moment. I find think that will speed things up too. Loosen up my button. Really? That's the song of all songs that pops in your head right now? Yeah. Good song. Thank you. What? <laughs> oh, no, this is. Not not good um, for the moment. But... What threw me off is Dreadnought's Bane is the name of the ship. I saw the Dreadnought and kind of moved on. Okay. Mm. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. So here we go. I have it. Um, so... Uh, Triple Stitch, the elf. Oh, right. Um, having uh, done a toast to Stavon, uh kind of quiets everyone down and says, Actually, he was a proud man and had few friends. Though he had many enemies, 
and some fuse. Then he kind of tips his glass to Theron, who tips it back. And he says, uh, while our outward name was the Destroyer, those who have viewed it under the light of the spice are aware we were the Dreadnought's Bane. We fought him many times. And, though he would not say it himself, we have saved him a few times. And the Dreadnought has saved us in turn. From rivalries, breach friendship. We had a plan, should he fall, as he was defending these territories while you were gone. Shepherd didn't mean much to him. But, Oriana and Logan did. Theron, you did. The Dreadnought, of course, did. And for some reason, uh, you misfits mattered to him. A short, smaller degree, but all the same. <laughs> the ship is mine. But I am yours. And he holds up the car. What? X, X's eyes, like, widen. Like, whoa. Double sky? <laughs> yeah, actually, I forgot this one flashed too. That's Dang. crazy, yo. The title of this episode: "Strong Rivalry Breeds Great Friendship," or whatever it was oh, you title. said. It that shit like was Wars. that was a bar. <laughs> Reminds me of the Clone Wars, Jones. Oh, their titles. Yeah, great. Yeah, titles. yeah, yeah. Right, that so was on. a bar. Holy shit! <laughs> wow, I didn't know we meant that much to him. Uh, I definitely respected him and came to like him uh, over time. Because when I first met him, he's a dick working for uh, Alice Rollins. But uh, he is uh, he's like that uh, the cool type on the outside, but a good guy on the inside, at least to me. Um, Brian, what's his name again? The uh, guy we're talking to? Triple Stitch. Triple Stitch. Um, all right. Triple Stitch. Um, we'd love to pick your brain about something um, later on if you have a moment. Girl, take a bed. That, um, we'd love to pick your brain about something that he, that's actually Stevan told me about um, in passing. He nods. And he says, uh, we do have some obligations still out there, of course. But should you need me, call upon. Is he like exiting right now, Brian? Or is he no, still no, he's, he's there. He's still with you guys. Oh, all right. He interrupted the uh, the moment to kind of say that. All right. Well, you know what? Um, because of the new joining of and strengthening of alliances, a lost one for everyone, boys and girls. Uh, did you give um, <laughs> Did you give them instructions on the creation of one, or that you not? X says it just like that, and I don't think I did. So I you can respond you how you need to. Um, <laughs> well, uh, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. X has been telling every bar that we went to uh, how to make the drink. Yeah, it, yeah. This, this bartender got murdered um, for being disloyal. Oh, these are. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, respond how you will, Brian. Yeah, Callum and Galdo That's got them lined up. Um, but them being who they are, they don't miss a beat and they start mixing something up. Um, and they're talking about each other, they're tasting things. And eventually they put up, it's like, there's like 12 of you here now, maybe more than that, 20 drinks in front of you. And they say, lost ones! With full confidence. Mm. Um, um, do they have to roll for like accuracy? I rolled over friend? here. I rolled. Um. So right. 
So you guys are a lot of drinks at this point. Like this announcement wasn't like an hour into the drinking. So while you don't have, you know, sober recall of what the lost ones taste like, what they made is delicious. It's a little somber. It's uh, on the darker side of the, of the liquors. It is absolutely not a lost one, but it tastes better than the lost one's ever tasted. No, hold on. All right, so this is good. All right, so. No, no, no. Because remember, X was drinking water the whole time. Oh, they were giving you drinks, bro. I mean, no, you, no. I know I you're. X, for the, for the toast? You weren't doing the toast? Huh? You weren't doing the actual toast themselves? Yeah, maybe you didn't hear me, but I said X. I, I heard X you say that. Were you not doing the actual toast? Were you doing that with water as well? Not excitedly. It's bad luck. I did it, yeah. I did oh, it. So, so X is a few shots of it, at least. Fine. <laughs> Um, X tasted, tasted it. He's I like, mean, you're, you're aware it's not the same because you made the original. Yo, hold up. So X goes, huh. This, I don't recall the lost one tasting this good, actually. Can, can I get that recipe? Well, we use some regional spices. I think it changes it a bit. A little nutmeg, I think. I'll add, add it to your list. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think the drink has developed now. You will go down in history for this drink. <laughs> Uh, it's just a little recipe, I'm sure. <laughs> and Kylo kind of elbows Galdo and the guys laugh to themselves. And I talk with my mouth for Yo, it's, and this sauce is... This sauce is like... <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. We, uh, we try our best, you know. Try, gotta stay employed. <laughs> but as the day turns to night, as a celebration... Of life and legend of one actually Stavon. Uh, goes on into the wee hours. Um, eventually, um, the crew says their goodbyes. Um, they do inform me they're going to keep watching the docks like they were doing previously, um, and ins ensuring that uh, there are no surprise arrivals. Um, and they all say their goodbyes to uh, Stavon and make their way. Eventually, the crew of the Cloud Scraper leaves as well. Um, uh, at some point, Samson does a performance of w with Midas of uh, the Wiz Khalifa "See You Again" song from Fast and the Furious, <laughs> oh whatever that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, also, I'm sorry. Do, do the people that were still on their boat have? They're leaving, so I won't have access to them to see if I can make any more. That was a different uh, ship entirely. That uh, okay, the Dreadnought ship. That that one's gone. That one didn't come back here. Midas, do you oppose to this performance? Midas says, eh, what the fuck? This is your way of honoring them. Let's do it. Do it. The performance is had. It is. You guys have rolled in here before very well, so you continue that. Major performance. Tears of joy and such brought to everyone's eyes. Um, and, Are they uh, leaving... For like, is there? Are they leaving for like good or just the night? Uh, back, back to their post that Devon had them at of uh, watching the show. Did, did they take his body or they, they did not? Left? No. Okay. Right. Does anybody know what he wanted done with his body? Like, do they have like a thing at sea? How they, how they, you know, do with them? Or he looks uh, at Theron. <laughs> Theron will say. Uh, uh, he, he was a paladin of the sea. Uh, the, the sea is where he should rest. Uh, and he will uh, quickly head out and grab triple stitch before he gets too far. And they have a quick discussion amongst themselves uh, before they do come back in. And uh, they say, uh, triple stitch says, I wasn't sure everyone was done saying goodbye. And they'll round the crew and they'll pick up Stavon's body and take it back to the ship. Can we get the map? Or whatever no we're doing. Did you, did you raid his body, you mean? Weren't we trying to get something to finish it off what we were talking? It was mentioned that someone was going to try to check the pockets. No one did so. So, I, I, I walk out with triple stitch. Mm -hmm. And I say, um... What were you guys going to do after we, uh, after you left here? I believe, uh, you all had an agreement with, uh, our captain. 
Yes, does that continue after death? No, no, that's still past to living from the dead. Are you guys going to still go after it? No, that was his, his word to Jericho, not ours. Um, if you find a map on him, maybe we still will. There is no map for the One Piece. <laughs> Every time. Shit. Yes, all in his head, I guess. He, uh, he looks at you for a moment. And he, uh, reaches into one of Stevon's inner pockets. And pulls out a compass. And he opens <laughs> it. This does not point north. And he closes it and gives it to you. Mike takes the compass. He says, to Stevon. He nods. And they make their way, bringing Stavon's body back to the ship. And there's a procession from the, uh, the districts as he goes past. Uh, so they picked up the body already? They are doing so now, yeah. Um, <clears throat> what do you want to do? Yeah, X does go up to him and ask him his question. Hey, is this, is this a good time for me to ask you my question? As good as any. All right. Um, Stavon mentioned knowing someone who can infuse... Um, magical qualities into weapons. Do you know who that individual is? Oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm that. <laughs> I'm him. Yeah, I mean, Mary can do some of that. Um, are you? What are we talking about, Greg? Are you talking about uh, just enchanting weapons? The frost. The frost giant blood. Oh, I, I think a lot of people kept pointing you towards Baez, honestly. Um, I'm trying to think who he would have pointed you to. Um, have I met Baez? You have not. And um, you never said anything to Midas, right? So mm -hmm. Midas doesn't. I don't remember hearing the name Baez. I, I just knew he said. No, no, I, I don't think I don't think Stevon said Baez, but I think other people you have asked have. I've only asked one person. To. Who else do you ask? I've only asked Devon. No, you asked someone else besides that. Mm -mm. It's not the first time you brought up trying to use that blood to make a weapon or to infuse it. Right. I really don't think we had that conversation I outside of the one time we were walking with Stavon while we were um, in Sethrit. And I was oh. like, you got to go through him to get this? Because I haven't been telling people about it because I didn't want people to know about the blood, but he's the only one who knew that I knew knew about the um, blood. If that makes sense. To to a small degree because you hate the guy too, but exactly. <laughs> um, well, let me roll and see what he would know. Natural one. Triple stitch says. Can you roll it again? No. Triple stitch says. Uh, advantage. He does not have advantage on this. Uh, Stevon kept your uh, your privacy. Um, as Stevon is wont to do. Uh, he says. I actually don't know anyone who has that talent. Thank you. He nods and leaves with the crew. All right, so you got somebody already pointed at Baez. Great. Well, apparently not, because you just said we hadn't had the conversation. Nope, nope, I remember it now. No, apparently not. Sorry, man, it's not there. <laughs> um, but the... Uh, the rest of the night is the Misfits, so you guys are welcome to jump into a long rest and open the next day if you'd like. If there's anything else you want to do tonight, you're more than welcome to. Learn. Oh, we have to have a conversation about the district. X says that a lot of the group. I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep, bro. I'm sausages for the night. Wait, is that Terrence <laughs> or is that um, Mir? Huh? Was that Terrence or Mir? I'm sorry, you're right. Well, I said it calmly, like, like a mirror, so yeah, mirror. Okay. <laughs> um, Logan, who's handling his liquor very well, but he is a large guy, so he says, uh, we do have to pick someone by morning. We are out of unaffiliated misfits. And are, are misfits able to, I mean, refresh my memory. Will we, we be able to leave the district 
um, if we are appointed. I mean, we have a name now, right? They know who the fuck we are. What was your question, Greg? Were you able to leave the district? Are we able to leave the district and like leave separate if we are appointed the lead? Oh, Solara, real quick, Solara wanted to uh, pay respects to Stevan in the procession while wearing her crown. Oh, she's going to walk with it? Uh, no, like when everybody's kind of going out, mm -hmm. she's wearing her crown there. Like basically, prominently, like no. Hey, it's her. Solara doesn't have a crown. Okay. She's well, unseated. She As the line goes past. She's... What does she have? Does she have any regalia or anything? She does have a headdress, I'm, I'm being told. She definitely does have a headdress. Well, if she's saying she is, I'm not going to argue with her about it. But no, she... <laughs> <laughs> no I'm sure she has Faustian royalty attire that she can okay. e easily put on and be a part of standing in the procession to acknowledge him in the light of her position without issue. Um, Greg, you're not sure the rules on uh, district leaders and leaving or staying put or having to be in the district. It's never come All right. up. All right. Um, Stevan, I'm oops, sorry. <laughs> ah, actually, yes, no, wait. <laughs> uh, um, is there anyone who I can ask um, about these rules? Or any kind of hiccups? There are no rules. I guess we can do make whatever you want. Misfits, um, I would like to be named the head of this region, um, or float my name as the head of this region, um, if that is okay with the group. I only want the one by the sea. So, sure, that's perfectly yeah, fine with me. Got it, bro. So, Solar asks why. Um, I need a, you all understand my mission. You all understand my mission and I do, I am building something right now. I need a base. I need a base where I can call home, where if I bring a group or a team with me to help protect this land and other lands, they will have a place where they can call home. Chris, you are muted if you're talking, by the way. <laughs> I <thought> you um, <laughs> <laughs> that's all, you know, kind of finding good X, but that. I don't see why not. Chris, yeah, you didn't really give a full no. sentence there, Chris. <laughs> no, no. That's all fine and good, Sorry. but back to the drink. <laughs> X, you showed these people. <laughs> uh, so Laura says, X, you tend to do what you want. And not worry about being in line with the group. <laughs> do what I want, but for the most part, I go with what the group agrees upon. I'm not going to actively behead someone when I don't believe it should be done to a body. But I did not stop y'all. So Laura goes, no. Yeah, but could you stop us? There you go. Yeah, that's that hey, sauce made him spicy. Mighty spicy was right here. It was like, holy shit. have been quiet for like three months. <laughs> I know. I've been, I've been running on, on autopilot. We gotta adjust what your autopilot acts like now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so Midas says, oh, actually, I'm, I'm not very, she said, the fact that you like him being in line with the group as a sheep speaks volumes. Um, I'm not very pleased. Lives are on the line and they kill one of us. There is no time for talking. We have to do what needs to be done. 
so low. I was running low on spell slots X, and you were so low that you were afraid to come out and fight. Um, I don't want to say afraid. I'm not trying to disrespect you, but you were running so low on health that you didn't want to risk coming out to fight. And if talking and taking turns, not putting them down could further put us at risk, X, I don't think it's worth it. I do respect your opinion to them in the beginning. But once we were in the fight, that was it. Is this a lower or minus? Minus. Minus said that. Okay, good, good. All right, when you said I was solo on health, you're talking about when I was trying to leave out the room? Basically, uh, yeah, minus. when you, you tried to leave the room and also when you went up into the hole? Yeah. Midas, Midas, Midas. For, first of all, I've listened to you before and I've become, I was down because I listened to something that you asked me to do. Um, second of all, Midas, I joined the battle thanks to May His Soul Rest, actually Stavon giving me the healing that I needed. Third, I had no idea what you were planning to do and that you were going to launch a fireball at some point within the battle. Thanks. I'm not talking about you run off the room. I don't have a problem with you trying to preserve your own life. I'm talking about talking to them when we're about to put them down. That's my that's my point. My my point about you having to try to save your own life is shows that we are in a dangerous situation. Right? Oh, okay. Well, hear me so out. You hear me are out. in a dangerous situation, X. Your life is gone. Um, Midas, we, we, we tend to disagree quite often, but hear me now. I literally had a dagger at his neck, asked him what he would have done, and he said no. If there's a chance to bring strength to our side, I will do that. Now, I won't do it foolishly. It was six on two at the point. X, but it's a ticking time bomb. We have, we have the, the, um... What is it called? The um the, the net X. There's only a certain amount of time that they could stay in that and luckily we handled everything before he popped out. And if he pops out, hit Samson, Samson loses concentration, the banish is broken. Now it's a six on four. And they did a lot of damage to us when it was a six on four earlier. That's all I'm Midas. saying. In, in, in situations like that, I think the time for talking is over. And, and Midas, I I hear you, but there are moments where I see an opportunity, and I will act on those opportunities. Oriana uh, slams her mug down. It was foolish because they were unconscious and could make no such decisions. He said it for you. I asked the DM if they could hear me. <laughs> <laughs> and he um, said there's a chance. <laughs> X, did he get any of me? Like I said, you can. You, I don't. I don't have a problem with you taking that district. Um, I just hope that the next time we're up in a fight or we are in danger that allyship does not come before our lives being risked. That last fireball I threw was the last thing I had. X. Every last thing of power I had. I couldn't do much else. Midas, the last thing I'll say on this topic is that I do hear you. But when will whatever I do be enough for this group? I now kill after walking around with you for months and being harassed about the fact that I did not. I am doing what I can do for this group. 
I am changing where I need to. There are some points where I will still do what I feel best for this group. And let's be honest, there are those of us in this group who still act on their own self-interest, whether it's guys under the sense of the group or not. Heat it up, X, heat it up. So <laughs> I will do what's needed for the group, yes. But if there's a chance for me to bring warriors to our side who share or have once shared the cause like mine, I will make that attempt. Uh, I mean, I don't think you truly get it because I wasn't questioning your loyalty to us. No, no, no. You're not questioning my loyalty, but it's always, it's not enough, X. X, you're not killing. It's not enough. X, you don't want to be head heads. It's not enough. When, when is it enough? I'm killing now. I am X. not going to put your lives at danger. X puts his hand over his heart and says, you can trust me on that one, Midas. With this region, I will build the strength of our group. Which group, X? Misfits! And do you have a plan? And Midas, Midas is going to do an insight check when he says that. Actually, telling the truth? Yeah. Cause are, are you telling the truth? Or you, is he this told, he told the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask because I mean I'm asking Greg right now. Is he telling the truth or is this for Black Order? It's for Black Order, but honestly, See? listen. Listen, Midas Gate Samson tried to give me an army that would have been at his beck and call. <laughs> no one, one of them. It was your that, that army. I just said help me if I need it. <laughs> I still think that shit is hilarious. Okay, so in this case, then roll insight and Greg roll something. You have to say if it's just roll d twenty, Greg. And but imagine... listen, listen, Laura says, "Are you killing? Or are you open to killing me? A life is going to be taken. You, I knew <laughs> it. The life is threatening the misfits. Are you rolling insight on this, Midas? She said, "So you just opted out today? Yes. Okay, roll I'm, insight. X I'm roll d twenty. Do not tell us if it's." Persuasion or deception, just roll a d20 and see if it say if it beat that or not. So not d20 roll, plus right? whatever your thing is going to be. So if not you have a you have plus four on either of those. Yeah, I have a plus. Can I roll medicine? No, it's either perception or it's either persuasion or deception. You're you already rolled. Oh, you hit persuasion. Okay, so yeah, yeah. are you were you lying or what? What was it? Oh, wait, wait. No, I'm sorry. So yeah, it is, it is for the misfits, though it may be used for other things. It is for in earnest. Well, I pick up that he's that he, he, he's not telling a full like it is for the misfits, but also other things too. Ten. How many is going towards uh, misfits? How much is going towards the black one? Um, you said percentage. Hundred percent. How much? Ten percent. Twenty percent. Which percent is for the black one? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll say sixty percent is black order. Is for Damn. the Black Order? Is for, your, for the, your pursuit of them? The Lost Ones. Okay. This uh, is all about the Lost Ones right here. So what what I will say, Midas, is that you what you pick up on is X is wants to use this district to build towards his larger goals of defeating the Black Order. But he is still fully aligned with the misfits and their pursuits. But it does seem that this is this is he wants this with an eye towards his future ambitions of destroying the Black Order. So then Midas looks at me and says, everybody's ambitious, X. I respect that. Just make sure your ambitions don't make you uh, a not friend. <laughs> now I want to say the E word. Oriana hiccups and says, <laughs> "It is." Oriana hiccups, still very deep into her cups, as she says, "But there are other options, and whose loyalty is only with the misfits." Crickets. He says, "Crickets." <laughs> I mean, my advice is me, but I don't want the district. I'm not telling him he can't have it. And she kind of, she's swaying a bit at this point. Then is it decided, or do we have more chastising and rules to dish out to X? 
It's decided. I already told him it was decided before. I mean, well, not decided. I already told him I was in favor of it before I even said anything to him. I was just using the time to talk to him. Well, you said that to Greg, not X. Yeah. No, I said I said yes. Might have said yes right oh, away. All right, all right. We because we discussed this like months ago. <laughs> I don't even remember that. I was actually thinking X. I was like, oh, it's the fighters district. X is not a fighter, but he's a monk, so he fights up so close a lot. This kind of makes sense a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking in my head. So yeah, yeah. Back in the character. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it's decided. I guess I think Solar was the only one against it. Does Solar say that aloud? Yes. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, who, who would you have? Who would you have um, run the district? She's on. What are you there. responding to? Because Solar said a lot of things. So, I guess the the, the last of it. thing Solora said was you just you just opted out. I what? Just opted out regarding fighting. Regarding what? Killing today. Yeah. I did not opt out killing today. Uh, his strikes missed. He didn't opt out. No, he kept trying to talk to people. Two unconscious people. You guys. <laughs> you yeah, he bet he could have hit. <laughs> and killed. He could have. He could have. We on his head. I see. They, you're they right. are. That, that did happen. That's okay. <laughs> they are. They are on my head for no reason. <laughs> no, they, um, they have a reason. They have a I reason. don't think it's no reason. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. Y'all have a reason, but I feel like it's everything with with me. And this is X right now, um, Solara. And I keep trying to please this group by doing more in the favor of the group. But the moment I have one lapse of trying to get something of my interest through, it's a problem. Yet, I forgiving you all for the things that have been done to me. Looks at Midas, meet Shield, looks at you, telling of my secrets, and looks at everyone else. Samson, you just make jokes about me. And sometimes that hurts my feelings. But still, it's, I'm trying here. And none of us are perfect. Which one has not had aughts with the misfits as a whole? Logan says, uh, I think I've been a pretty good friend to all of you. <laughs> of the misfits, like, you're out of No, let's take a, Brian, Mike, I know you're not talking, bro. When you just tried to kill all, tried to kill all of us, we had to put your ass down three times. I have no memory of that. He kind of chuckles a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so Laura, uh, Laura just looks at X and says, I think your, your efforts are in the wrong place. Uh, and then he says, uh, effort. The what? Your efforts. F orts. Okay, Fort. that's what I said. And what do yeah. you mean? But then he says, uh, what, what, uh, oh, but the decision on the districts with the group looks like it's your. Am I the only one she's cutting off for um, at the very end? Yeah, the decision on the district is with the group. It looks like it's yours. Yeah. And uh, Logan will say, if you all can't trust him more than you trust me, there's a problem here. Actually, oh, it's still hmm? oh, hold on. You're painting it all. You, you said all. Oh, I never said I couldn't trust X. Um, that's not for in a fight to actually kill uh, his his uh his fighting yeah tactics. I would say he's a moron, idiot, <laughs> not not someone that's uh deceitful or trying to harm us. Um, as far as that goes. Uh, Aren't you the man who fireballed us? Aren't you the one that said you do not trust him right now? Huh? Aren't you the one that fireballed us day one? It wasn't day one. I was pretty far into it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought I could end. I thought I could end the fight. I, it did kind of end the fight, actually. It did end the fight. <laughs> we all made that. It was stupid. Uh, I'm not that dummy anymore. Uh, <laughs> I haven't made that slip up again. And then Mice looks at Logan. 
Woo! Could you imagine back then? I mean, you probably could. You'd kill this all. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> he just said that very dry and drink some more of his his cup. Oriana says, uh, looking to you, X. Congratulations. District leader X. Don't fuck it up. Last one for everyone. We already did Again. that. No, 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 no. I drink this no. one. Okay. <laughs> Continue to drink. <laughs> Logan looks at you and he does say there is a responsibility to losing a district. There are people there. There are lives at stake. There's not a tool. They are not yours. Oh, I'm not a user. That's it. They are not soldiers. No. Any nods? Yeah, and just to clear up anything, I do not plan to use the people of this district. People of this district, I hope to hope to have them as a sort of kin. He holds a band and says, "They cheered when the turtles died. They'll cheer when you die." They're not your friends, either. Hey! Understood. X nods. Hey, nods. Goes back to his drinks. Anything else for the Misfits tonight? This night in the game? X, did you just bring it up that we need to choose someone because you want to be that person? Huh? Did you just bring up that we need to choose someone because you want to be that person? No, no, it's just we have to make that decision by tomorrow. If we went to sleep, we would have woke up the next day and that decision would have been made. This conversation would have had to happen today, I feel like, anyway. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever you say, X. No, get <laughs> Because we were about to go to sleep, and the next thing would have been two things. What are you talking about dead donkeys for, X? Huh? You're talking about dead donkeys now. What are you talking about? What did I say? Not that. Deceased donkeys. <laughs> that is not a saying in an exam. Uh, where are we at? Illustria. Illustria. <laughs> No, the, the, we're out of character now. Game's over, right? No, no, no. No, game's not over. The what? Misfits are taking oh. a long rest. The Misfits are taking a long rest. Oh. <laughs> we don't ever end <laughs> early, sir. <laughs> um, so the, the Misfits will take their long rest, and morning will come eventually, and everyone can take a full, hit the full long rest button and get all your spells and health back and all that fun stuff. Um, Sorry, so Lord wanted to say real quick, what, like, as they were wrapping up their night or whatever, to mm -hmm. X directly, um, if if he wanted to talk about, or she says that if he wanted to talk about the uh, misguided efforts, we can do so one on one another day. Did she just under me? It's really yes. Hard to if, hear. if you want to talk about misguided efforts, you two can. Long rest is had. Morning comes. Um, this is the day the Blackboard will be arriving, X. I'm trying to remember where I know. I was trying to stall for this. I know this. Um. <laughs> um. Dude, that's whack, dog. Don't do that. <laughs> Get into it. Morning comes. Metal Mouth arrives. You all inform him. Not Metal Mouth. The custodian arrives. You all inform him of your choice. And he leaves. Um, you do not know when they're arriving, X. Uh, I, I don't... I do believe you told them you have a district down here, but I'm not certain. Yeah, I'm trying to I feel like it wouldn't make much sense if you didn't tell them where to come. Like, if you can't, telling them just a city wouldn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, I'm looking for that right now. 
No, you know what? Damn it. Hmm. You know, because they were supposed to call me again. We never had the conversation with And I told them where to meet me at. None of them can call you. One of them was able to connect with me. No, none of them have sending. Was it me that was supposed to reach out to them? You, you mean, you reached out to them like twice, both through Midas to what's her face instead of one. Uh, what's the name of my district? I mean, it doesn't have a name as a color. Okay, red. Um, teal. <clears throat> Morning comes. Uh, prior to the, uh, before you finding out where your cloak is or if they even arrived on time. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a, a town crier, a you know, newsboy, running around in the district saying, uh, High noon, fight in the arena. High noon, fight in the arena. Exciting things, exciting things, as he runs by. Mike says, oh, we finally get to be spectators. Hey, this is actually might be a good scene. Uh, Midas, would you be able to send a note to, um, a message to one for me? Excellent. Have you visited your district yet? What, aren't we in our district? No, you're in the, the shared district. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I will head there after we make the announcement formally. Okay. What the fuck, man? X, you better go get your eyes on that shit. Remember, Logan had it right the fuck out. And we came here right after. I don't know what the fuck they're doing over there. They could be like throwing darts at your face. I don't have a crudely drawn drawing of you. Um, but I'm I'm pretty sure after the showing that we saw yesterday that they'll be at this fight today. I trust so, people. I I can uh, talk to your little homie for you, but I will never connect couldn't uh, contact nine again. She fucking no, hate no, no. and right. me. Yeah. No, we're connecting with one. From now on, anytime you make a message to me. One, one is that the one that has that southern accent? That's the cowboy sounding one. Yeah, yeah. He, he's cool. <laughs> what do you want me to say to him? Um, uh, tell him when he when he arrives to um meet me um in this district here. I'm trying to think what. Ask him what time or around what time they think they'll arrive today. Is this a private conversation, X? Well, no, you know. Um, okay. And do you plan on having a private conversation with them in this district or your own district? Um, there's a room, there's a silent room here, right? That we've used before, correct? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna use that room. X, you need to fucking run them in your damn district. You know what? I'm telling you how to run your district now, X. You gotta bring them in there with your people. And you gotta fucking show a strong force and just go in there with your people and shit. And just, hey, this hey, my old Midas, Midas, you're right, Midas, you're right. But listen, I will do that with the M Midas. Midas is very surprised. To... He's like, what the fuck? It worked? All, mm -hmm. all right, all right. <laughs> I, need to, I will do that with the misfits. I need to make sure that my cloak is with me and not against me. Can't go in there and have them showing Discord already. All right, so so tell them to meet you here. What and what else? What Find else? out what time they're coming around about what time, um, mm -hmm. and then have them meet me here. Okay, so Midas text sending to one. And he says, "Hey, uh, X wants to know what time you guys are showing up." And he says to meet him in the uh, the the our district over here. We we're in the, like the last district. If you come in the city, it's like a little arch. You're just going to go all the way down to the left. And um, that's what I said. We're going to find a place called Pocket Aces. That's where you want to find. Um, and that's where you want to meet us. And, and what time are you getting here? He said. Well, good morning to you too, Midas. I see pleasantries aren't in your menu. I'm sorry. I... Oh, never it's mind. A... <laughs> you might want to get a map out. Pocket Aces is not the southernmost district. It's a little up above that. We arrived a few days ago as we're not amateurs and do not show up day of. They called you a bitch, X. <laughs> Probably did. It wouldn't be the worst thing they called me. Um, 
He kind of he, he wasted some words insulting you, so that's all. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Well, he said it, 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 it's open to already here. Oh, okay. We just gonna pretend I couldn't. Okay, yeah. So yeah, unless you want to say it a different way, then yes. No, no, that's fine. Mm-hmm. All right, so we can have him say, um, have him meet us at the fighting ground. Actually, no, hey, no. You just told him to meet you here. Yeah, yeah, have me here. What time did he say? Well, you asked him what time they were getting here, and he said they're already here. So, right, tell them, ask them if they can meet us after the fight concludes. Okay. My sister, look, man, I'm not doing this 12 times. If we fucking get into a fight out here, and you know, this mm. costs all sides. Understood. So, my says, "Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I I forget a lot of things if I don't just see." You know what? What I'm supposed to be told told to be said right away. Uh, hello, one. Um, accept me this after the fight. Okay. In pocket aces. Uh, one will say. Well, hey, now you're making bad use of your message. There. Don't just waste words on nonsense. <laughs> That's fine. We can meet you there after the fight. I assume drinks are come. Don't reply. I assume drinks are calm. Bitch, you got to pay for them shit. Might as well look for them. Just in case I forget, might as well find them after the fight. Like, just be trying to find them the entire time during the fight okay. and after the fight so you can run up to them and be like, no, drinks aren't calm. You, you're paying. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. if, you can, if you can track them down, if you can spot yeah. them, you can definitely you can try to catch up to them right before yeah. they get to just No, no, no. The drinks aren't calm. <laughs> um, X. X goes to the bar. Did you say that to me, Midas? As he said it, or he said it a different way? No, he says it to you that way. Uh, but every time he adds just a little bit more, he said, and he, and he said that, uh, you know, your technique is off lately. You know, your steps and everything. He said you look a little sloppy. Yeah, sounds like one. All right. All right. Um, X goes to the bartender. Um, Hey, I just want to let you know, like, after the fight concludes, I need a lot of lost ones, just like you made them last time. Yeah, no problem. We have them ready for you. Thank you. At least 11 to start. We have 22. We have 22? We'll have 22 ready. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, because I'm going to be drinking with you, X. <laughs> <laughs> So okay. that Midas, is... I actually, Midas, if you if you are open to it, there will be a part of this conversation that I would like to have alone with them. But I would be more than honored if you would like to join this conversation with me once we can invite you on. Yeah, uh, uh, that's gonna be awkward, but sure. That's what I said. After the pleasantries are exchanged, you could just do this shit in your own district, asshole. <laughs> Yeah, well, got to make sure that the black order is with me. Just cool. sending messages like the little errand boy, and then they kicked out, came to be part of the thing I'm sending messages for. Fucking work for X and shit. Like, I work for your district or something. X goes in his pocket and flips him a gold coin. My <laughs> smacked it out of the air. <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. Um, okay, so that is set. Um, Logan, who spent the night here, uh, him and Orion and Pastor at the bar. Uh, they're both awake and eating breakfast now. A bit of uh, chasing the uh, hair of the dog that bit him, which, for those who don't know, is drinking more. Because I found out apparently people don't know that phrase. I never heard that before. When is that's how you get over a hangover. Hair of the dog. Yeah, but that's it. Do you know why that's the thing? Why they call it the hair of the dog? Yeah. No. It's the cure for werewolves. You get the hair of the dog that bit you when you drink it. Huh. So to get over the hangover, you, the thing that made you get it. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I would have known that. I don't know why they I do. Or no one else does. They have learned something. <laughs> I have no idea why this is instant knowledge for me and no one else knows it. But um, at any rate, they are drinking again. Um, and Logan says, uh, "Hope you don't mind, X. I sent some envoys." To your district. 
Logan. Um, I'm definitely open to learning how you run your, to hearing what I should do as a new leader of a district. Thank you for doing that. No, it wasn't. I mean, mine, mine was different because, uh, <laughs> uh, they, that, that was an entire society, really. That wasn't like, you know, randos. So, you know, there were like people who thought they should be next up and I had to kill them. Um, yours, yours isn't like that. I've, I've been up there like once or twice. They, sh they should be you cool. Okay. Um, if you have any intel on this on this region, please let me know. Outside um, of that. I mean, Harriet, whenever she comes back around, she'll, she'll know things. She knows things. Okay. More lost ones. Hey, <laughs> somebody else one finally. And as the brothers do make two and give them to those two, as they continue uh, their celebration of life. Um, but as we are rounding out the session, is there anything anyone wants to accomplish today? Can I see um homeboy? Who is Splinter? That? Um, actually, to that point, to uh, back things up a bit, um, when you finish your meditation, because you do wake up earlier than any, everyone else, he was sitting across from you, hmm. meditating as well. Hello. Mm. Hello. <laughs> That's his response. Yes. Mm. <laughs> As he uh, slowly hears you and takes a moment to finish his meditation, and kind of wisp of the beard yeah. and nods to you. Well, before anything else is exchanged, allow me to bring out the. Allow me to bring out Leo's weapons for you. Um, X goes under his bed. I guess that's where I keep them. Wherever, where do you want to put them? Um, and he, he has both of them on his lap, right? So X is um, sitting actually like a, a student. So he's, you know how these um, sit and those like, yeah. so how Zora was sitting. Change, you change your stance from meditation to uh, appropriate respect given. Appropriate respect, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like I'm sitting on my knees, you know, standing mm -hmm. up. Uh, katanas are on my, my knees, mm -hmm. um, holding both my hands. Um, saying I was able to do some research on the turtles after a conversation that I had with them. And I have much respect and admiration for the group. Those that you have trained were on a journey that I am currently embarking upon. The way that they brought down the Foot Clan is a mission similar to mine. And I assure you, I'm sorry, what is your name? I am Master Splinter. I assure you, Master Splinter. Where is this going on? In his room, uh, previous night. Okay. Well, I guess early morning at this point. I assure you, Master Splinter, that um, those of you who have trained, you have trained, have definitely won my respect. And I know these battles are things that us warriors come to expect. Death becomes us but I tried very hard to join causes with them and try to help them try to have them come to our side as allies hoping that we could work towards the same mission of bringing down those who have done evil around us um, for that I do have Leo's weapon and if I'm, I would like to keep one of them to carry on his legacy as I continue to take the lives of those who have done to those around us. And one I will surely give, give back to you. But if this is not appeasing to you, you may have them both back in your care. Do you hold up one or do you hold up two? I hold up two, like both of them. Okay. He reaches out and takes them both. <laughs> he says to you, uh, your message of allyship was an afterthought. 
after your challenge of death. No one should have accepted that. Were it true and thought out, it would have came first. I assume your teacher was not one of peace, and the fault is his, not yours. But I have taught my students better than that. Ooh. Though, I do hope you are not following in their footsteps and how they destroyed the Foot Clan, as in the process they lost themselves. The atrocities they committed. They came here to die. They knew, eventually, Veserik would turn on his vassals. It is in its nature. It just so happened as they ran into you and your group first. Your methods are not beyond reproach. And your princess, for reasons unbeknownst to myself, chose to go out her way to make an enemy. I will not hold Miss O'Neill's hand or hold her back. What comes of that comes. He looks down at the weapons. Do you wish to keep it as a trophy? Master Spencer, I am of a humble monk's beginning. <coughs> a trophy is not what I want. As I said, the legacy. There are there is bad in everything. There there can be found there can be good found in some of the bad that has been done. The atrocities, of course, the bad. But I look to keep myself and I can utilize this weapon as a reminder to not lose myself. He nods. The moment, the moment, the moment. Such wisdom is unexpected from active or former Black Order members. <clears throat> but the moon does rise on the good and the bad alike. Keep one. Remember what you saw. Remember what they are. What they were. And how they walked head high to their deaths. I hope when your time comes you can be as proud and as ready. And he hands it back to you. One back to you. X bows his head, nods, and says, I will keep these words close to my heart, Master Spencer. He nods, and he says, How many graves must we dig when we set out for revenge? One for those that we have ought with, and one for ourselves. Is that the right answer to this riddle? That is the conventional wisdom. I will offer you a third for the mission you seek. Bury their sons as well. Damn. <laughs> Damn. He will slowly stand and he will sheath the katana um, and he will say uh, vengeance violence grows in your group tell me about it <sighs> it can be wielded it can 
overtake. You are doing a good in this world, but so were my sons. Eventually, you will defeat that evil. I just hope you do not realize you have replaced it. Mm. I seek to be the one to not only seek out revenge and met out deaths to those who have done wrong, but also to be a part of a refuge for those that have been harmed, to help those who have been lost. I hope to be a light to those. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> he nods understandingly and he says, I leave you with this. The Foot Clan was not always oppressive, it was not always evil. It was, at the time, a force of good. The Black Order was not always as it is today, either. Learn a history before you destroy your future. Mm. Noted. He gives a uh, slight bow, student to master, or master to student. I and, thank you for your words. Oh, go ahead. And he says, It is my sincerest hope. Share if we are to meet again. It is not because I am come to solve a problem you've created. Mm. Should you lose your way, bury that sword first. This is deja vu like a mug. <laughs> or he's the second person to give X this warning. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him, X. Don't let him live. He does look very old. <laughs> I will keep your words with me and I hope to grow with them or grow from them as I journey on with my mission. He nods and he slowly walks over to the door and he says in parting, it's a good name, your new group. As he opens and Leaves the door and closes it back silently. Does X go to level 12 because of this conversation? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, you do not, sir. But yeah, uh, I feel like you a schemer. That is where we will end the session. Yeah, that was a good end for you. I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good session, guys. We finished the fight, got a little. Funeral rites for Stevan. Figure out the new leader. Congratulations, X, on your district. We'll have to see who uh, Nishan crowns peak performance. Everything is going according to my plan. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> I guess it's so far so good for you and yours. That was that was funny. Your Solar really don't fuck with you, dog. At all, man. That's just wow. That's like that's some never, serious. She never does. Listen, it's it's cool, but I'm happy that somebody else sees her for who she is, Master Splinter. <laughs> <laughs> that what do you say? Oh, because oh, she she, she made an enemy. went out of her way to make an enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, April she went out of her way to make an enemy too. She so, didn't. First of all, I, I think we should just take it. What did April do to her? April got uh, CJ into the fight. She got her little boyfriend killed. Anyway, I think we should dust her anyway. If we find her pop up somewhere, we just murk her. <laughs> well, I think we don't have a choice now. Oh, right? see, now she's she's legitimately an enemy, so maybe you should do that. <laughs> maybe if you no, see her again. No, 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 worrying about me not leaving people, I mean, not killing people or chopping off their heads. Meanwhile, y'all are making enemies out of mm -hmm. random ass people. Hilarious. Well, she's an asshole. She's not random. 
No, no, no. You could be an asshole, but now we got another head to look out for. And and y'all come at me for the shit that X does, but yo, like, it wasn't called for. <laughs> I mean, now we have to watch our back from another. It's like you, the time you did the dumb shit to Tanner, and we were watching our back again. No, 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 no. Let's, let's be clear. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Mike is already pissed off, or I was already pissed off at Solora. When, when y'all had that little idea, oh, let's hide, hide the massage in the damn crowd. This whole thing started. And I was like, no, let's just bring her in. No, let's hide her in the crowd. I will right, say, fine, there, were, there weren't many no votes to that. I will say, and I was like, are you sure? Is that where you want to put it? I said no. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Just reminder, it's visible. And you can kind of see through it a bit, but they can it'd be visible in the crowd. Yeah, put it in the crowd. Cool, bet. Hey, I'm, I'm going to head out. I gotta, I'm doing work right now, so... Have so, mm-hmm. see ya. Good session. See ya. Yeah, I asked, I asked multiple times. I was very clear. It's visible. Do you want to put it in the crowd? Where in the crowd do you want to put it? Cool, front row, bet. It's that. <laughs> like, yeah, I, don't do it, I don't try to be overbearing because I want people to make their own decisions, mm-hmm. but I'm just like, it's going to take a long time for it to get to where it needs to go. That's my, my my main point. I'm like, why would you why would you waste time getting it to try to catch up? We don't know what they're about to do. And no, I mean, shit. well, it turned out lucky was in great position. Just how it ended up being good, great position, but you know, yeah, it was bringing a something off the sideline it, that violated the they had to be five feet at the start rule. And that's just that on that. Yeah, it was cheesy. It wasn't. You guys broke a rule. It was cheesy. Meh. I mean, you know. It it's happens. A something like that. Hmm? If I make a fireball start in the crowd and shoot into the <laughs> arena. If you polymorph a cat to be a great ape and put it in the crowd first, that would still be a violation. It came out the crowd. That's a little bit different, though. Not really. You you created an asset and you staged it well, in the crowd instead of on the field. You it's created like an asset and you started it in the crowd versus on the field. But the whole point of the rule is so people who can create things have to do it in the battle. That's the whole so point. So if, if I can make myself du- duplicates of myself, I had the duplicates spread out and one sit in the crowd. That'd be an issue. Okay. Only because. You know, no one knows exactly what you have created. They just know there's another you in the crowd. Without knowing exactly what that is, and it comes into the fight, you have now brought something from the crowd. The the, the rule is, no matter what the other things are. I should uh, I should throw a a duplicate into the crowd, and you know how roll how how they have to roll to see if they hit, Mm -hmm. and they they go shoot at the duplicate. Instead of what's it called, and they kill a duplicate. Oh, the, that, that's mirror image. That's different than gesture dupla thing. Duplicate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, mirror image. Mirror image. They don't spread apart. They don't go away away from you. They are just near you. Okay. You can't spread so them out. Yeah. Then a duplicate. Then duplicate's different. That, that's not a roll to see if you hit thing. That's a that's not a it looks like you. They may think it's you, but if they okay. they attack one of them, they don't have to roll to see which one they attack. Okay. And you can cast spells through them. Which is why the benefit, okay. the real benefit of having those things. But I mean, it's just it was a basic, you know. Hey, that's that's the rule. And she went and said, "Hey, they broke a fucking rule. Our guys coming in." He's like, "Yeah, bet, put him in." Teacher's pet got your man killed. <laughs> I mean, that's super fucking unfortunate. <laughs> but hey, that you know, tried to save her, her family. Gotta give it a go. He was the best, uh, best suited to try and help. Here's what it is. Question mark of April O'Neil. I'm glad you got got to meet Master Splinter. Actually, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I can like grab from him, but I'm like, you know what? This lesson they gave me. That's Yo, really the second time. Huh? You ain't seen nothing about that at breakfast. <laughs> or made an enemy grind meat though. Uh, <laughs> Hold up for breakfast. You, you didn't breakfast. mention Master Splinter the next day. We can, we can no. pick it up the next session though. No, no, oh, I'm, I'm not sure. Clearly he did. But um, 
I think more than just mentioning Master Splinter, because everybody does their little secret bullshit, is the fact that he said she made an enemy. I mean, I think she knows that. <laughs> I don't think there's any confusion. I'm pretty sure April told her that directly. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, April told her directly your death would be worse than theirs was. True. So Laura has a couple of like, them. She was really ruthless with that shit. Well, it's not, well it's not like uh, April, no one saw Slower's ruthlessness underground. So there's that at least. But she did pop out talking cash shit to April. So there's that. There's that. <laughs> but no, I mean, I think that Salora's first uh, free range enemy. Because, like, she has. I mean, she has like she has beef with Avasarla, but Avasarla is not like you know, running around a forest and shit throwing daggers. And that's also her mom's bestie, so it's a little different. I think this is her first legitimate. I want to murder you, and I want you to know I did it, enemy. Yeah, that's that's her first. Good for her. She got one. X has a uh, dude from the fall, and that keeps getting away. Um, oh, what dude from the He's still around. Yeah, he got away. One of them. One of them got away. And he's still mad because I broke his friend leg, right? And took a magic, and then murdered all his friends. But not, and then did it again. Now what is he? Complaining about? Huh? I took her life. I took her life. What is he complaining about now? Like I said, so he took a magic, took a took a leg, then killed all his friends, and then again. Killed all his friends. If it makes you feel any better, it is like a hate of the group at large now, but it's still like you are the you know the, the main hate in his hate. I, I try to give people a chance. Like, all right, you what? want your magic or your life? That wasn't right. that didn't you happen. Want your leg or your life? Oh, that that was not a conversation okay. at all, sir. Oh, no, it's not. But okay, you still coming at me? Now is your life. It's almost like at one point it was her eye. Did I take her eye at one point? Um, no, she tried to take your eye. Oh, all right. Yeah, and you ended up rolling really well and didn't lose your eye, which you almost did. <laughs> that would have been great. It would have been, 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 been something. We would have had to give him a fairy eye. <laughs> that did not go well in the magicians. But, um, <laughs> no, it's, it's, I like that she got an arch enemy. I got to like start keeping track of that now. I'm so angry that the magicians ended like that. Yeah, that wasn't great. Fucking assholes. <laughs> I didn't watch it. It was really it good. Was until it was really it. good. Yeah. They just fucked us by, like, not bringing on a new season. Yeah. Oh. What are you going to do? Yeah. I'm That's excited. Fun. I'm fun. excited for the next chapter for the Misfits. You guys got to close this out, you know? You got Desiree. Compass to the One Piece. You did get the Compass to the One Piece. That'll be fun. Have you watched One Piece? Do you know anything about this stuff? No. Even better. I was going to say that you um that you were going to break out like a, a palm glyph or something like that. That had been that been too too much. Two on a nose. Well, no, because those aren't. You can't find anything with those. You just got to. They're, they're located in different places. So having one wouldn't do anything. Mm. But uh, Dragon Ball Tracker. Kinda. But you know, I'm not gonna like one. I, I doubt you guys are gonna ever pursue this storyline. But it's not gonna be one to one rip of One Piece either. But uh, I want to pursue it. I don't know if we will have time to. But it, it'll probably it'll be, be a late game thing. Honestly, it'll probably be, it'll be in a between. Cool separate adventure. I think it would be cool to do now when we aren't too overpowered. Well, honestly, y'all could do it if you guys actually take downtime. You could do it after Sethrid. Because that would be, there's a clean slate after Sephiroth's established, should you guys take time to establish it, in theory. That's not happening. We that finished that fight. We finished that fight, and the first thing Saeed said was, let's go find the treasure. Like, <laughs> there is no downtime. I think He's gonna downtime else. can be taken. Because, like, if you guys want to actually have Sephiroth be a working city, there needs to be time invested into it. But well, my need to be able to. Why is he just thinking like, hey, man, the One Piece, we, we might as well put that in our back pocket. Might as well have that joint, you know? We need, we ever need to finance anything, we got the One Piece. 
Well, do keep in mind that Stevan thought he needed your help to get it. So it's maybe not an easily acquired thing. Oh, clearly not. And so it was Stevan thought he needed his entire ship and crew and then plus misfits. So mm -hmm. keep, keep that in mind. And yeah, it, it will it will scale with uh, you guys. Which means that what well, this is why uh, Triple Stitch said he was he was he was ours mm -hmm. or whatever. That's why we're gonna roll two ships up there: the Cloud Scraper and Whistlecall and us. <laughs> Get the Cloud Scraper crewed out. Yeah, it does need a crew. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm really excited to see what you guys do next. Who do you guys think is fighting in the the pit? The pit, I have no clue. It's not one of our districts, so it's it's Mikhail's district doesn't come out, so it's only between the three districts. There's left. Uh, what are the three districts left? You told us. I got it in my notes. It's just color. I should have named them, but that's not super important to name them. But um, you told us who was there too. I did, didn't I? Right? Um, I definitely got it. I just gotta open it up. Open it up. Open it up. The colors are purple, lime, green, and blue. Urban and Dutch. Sure. Um, let me see. Who is this? Uh, blue is Argos. Argos, okay. Uh, purple yeah. is Kaya. Kaya. And what about Senju? Senju, yeah, Green District. Yeah, Green District. Whoa, who's Cassian? Yeah, Cassian? That was the fire. No, it's uh, Cassian was. Oh, I was going to use different names for the turtles, but I decided to just go yeah. with the things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was the Turtles District. Okay. We killed Basu. That was easy. So we got... I'm betting that it's going to be then... We don't know about Kaya's crew. Or what they are. We got Druids. We got Bards. Damn, them Druids going to be a beast, dog. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> um... Dang. To to guess who was fighting, to make an actual educated guess, mm -hmm. I would have to know a little bit about. It. So we got ten, we got six, we got seven. Um, I guess we don't know what's going on with anybody anywhere. What else do we know about these places? Like, do the misfits currently know? You guys really haven't gathered much intel on anyone else. Waiting to see April. I mean, other John. Uh, Harry Reed. Askins. Yeah, yeah, just kidding. Um, yeah, you don't you don't have much intel on anywhere else besides the places you are immediately going to attack. So, so if I were to just, press, I would say it's Argos versus Kaya. The numbers are similar, so but we shall see next week. You might be right, but no, you, you guys are. Uh, you guys are shaking things up a bit. Hopefully we can be at level 14 by the time we got to fight this damn Vesery. <laughs> <laughs> the, hopefully we get to the next level. Brian, not, not. Listen, easy. man, lo level ups are few and far between. You guys are getting pretty strong. We, no. I couldn't kill it just now. I felt like we kill us. Hmm? And we just lost the fine. You did just lose the fine. But you won the we fight. We need to level up. Nah, level up. You guys level just up. leveled up. No, we didn't. Yes, he did. <laughs> when? After you beat uh, Azrael. We did? Mm. Yes, he did. <laughs> she was sweet. Oh, yeah, we did. Because I, I know it's, it's a lot of spells and stuff like that I have that I have not used yet. So, yeah. Which reminds me, uh, Davina and Mir still need to be leveled up, actually. Man. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> nah, but y'all y'all doing good, man. That was that was well done. 
you only got a handful of more fights before you gotta make a decision on Vezirik and Michael. Well, the Michael decision is less less uh, stressful now. Is it? Oh yeah, because I guess the bar is out, out the tank. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying less stressful than it used to be. Yo, see what I mean, Greg? When I said that it was smart to try to bring him back, Logan, immediate thing. Did we try to bring him back? Or you gotta watch this. We tried to bring him back. Oh, that was a big problem if y'all hadn't tried and just let a minute go by. Yeah. That would have been an issue. It would have been messed up, too. It's like, yo, they've they been holding it down when we wasn't here. We let them die. I can't hear you. Let you know. What do you say? <laughs> Can you hear you us, Greg? Greg? Can you hear us? Huh? Can you hear us? Greg? I think Greg's internet has given up on him. It's really hard. Really hard. Yeah. You, you got to stop with this cheap shit, dog. Anything you're saying? You, you making some money yeah. now off this, this photography shit now. Get some real fucking internet. Like, whatever you're using, you're using Comcast, you're using Verizon, right? Pay for the top one. Stop cheaping out. Just pay for the top one. You can afford it. I know you can. I'm not counting your yeah, pockets, I mean, but I just know you can afford it. I don't think you can hear us. All right, I know it, it was it was a very good re good idea to have uh, tried to bring him back because had you not, you would have lost two allies. Yeah, that'd have been messed up. Yes, it would have. Yes, and then also like outside of just him, I mean, it'd have been like, yo, if anybody from the Misfits die, like that's not when the Misfits dies, like are they just gonna let us die too? Like that is so much into this. It's like we had to try. It would have been such a fucking problem. <laughs> it was a great idea. It was yeah. it, bringing them back or trying to heal them. Trying and then fate sided with me anyway. Yeah, I mean that's cool. <laughs> I mean, you you think we wanted Stevan to meet Mikel? Like you had your own reasons, right? We all had our separate reasons, like about why we didn't necessarily want him to live. It's just you know. Well, I don't know. I think Chris might have wanted him to live. Chris just doesn't give a fuck. He's just a risky motherfucker. <laughs> but um. Michelle was just like, she was happy he was dead. I was happy he was dead. I didn't want him and Mikel to meet. That fucking handled that situation for us. <laughs> um, like, you you want him dead because of the Black Order stuff, but it was just like, we had to try. Because if we didn't, then that uh, that would really hurt us. Oh, I missed Nashawn to say something. Nashawn said, uh, peak performance is for... Uh... For fights only. <laughs> but he, he, he will pick yeah. a session MVP for general sessions. <laughs> it's for fights only, guys. So no no peak performance coming. <laughs> That's great. As that and we were in a fight. Yeah, tomorrow but that was that was just mopping up. Tomorrow, really. peak performer. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just roll that over. <laughs> no, I'm I'm really glad I didn't have to deal with oh, you guys right. not trying to get Stevan up. That would have been a headache. <laughs> it was such a headache. Oh my gosh, Mice was ready. To I, they, I don't. I gotta look into it. I don't know there isn't again. I think if it fails, that's just chalk. Okay. Unless maybe you're using a higher level spell, but the same one twice is definitely gone. I could cast the same spell at a higher level. <laughs> nah, it doesn't work for those. <laughs> like you'd have to be raised dead or one of the other ones. Well, it's then I'm happy because now there's nothing I could do about it. So no, it was, nothing at all. It's fully, it's fully into, because I was worried about that too. Like you were going to come back later. I'm like, wait, you have Revivify. And you didn't cast that after, he, after it failed. Nah, nah, I don't know. Oh you, you're, you're, you're in the clear. You're in the clear. I rolled the dice. Did not come up high enough. Stevon's book closed. Now, is it a roll of the I'm dice uh, for the yeah. first time somebody dies or no? First time is automatic. They're back. Oh, man. Okay. Stepping away from my computer if you're calling. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I'm really excited to. Uh, that that fight went really well as far as all things considered go. I think, I think you guys have mastered how to fight in D&D well. Outside of, you know, narrative choices. But no, you know, I think Seth, Seth has definitely done what I wanted to do. So that's awesome. What is that? 
I'm um, just get... no, that was unintended. Um, <laughs> you get everyone well acquainted with fights in D and D because they were few and far between previously. Yeah, this is kind of fun because we, you know, we got to fight as long as we want to pick one. Mm-hmm. And this way, I think it will make future fights go much quicker because before yeah. fights took a month, a month at least, to get to a fight. Because everyone was like looking through the spells, didn't know how to do everything, had a lot of questions. We were trying to figure out how everything's worked. So now I think on both sides, mine and yours, we have everything nice and conditioned. Tidy. Yeah. One thing I keep forgetting, I, for, I keep forgetting two things, and and one of them does it rarely pops up. Um, but uh, that mice is a warcaster. Since there's like, there's nothing that says that on my page. It should. So it should like, be in a feed or somewhere. It should say it somewhere, but I guess it won't be on your main page with it. If, it's, if you have the feet, then the feet's listed. Um, I don't know if I had the feet because it's something like extra that you gave me, so it didn't come with like the class level, and whichever feats I have for the class level, I had to peek those. I gave you so one caster or something? Yeah, because you gave it to me for training with bias. Oh, I, well, I can, I'll just add that now. I can just okay. add that. And then the second thing is. Uh, I always forget Hellish Rebuke. Oh, yeah. You probably yeah. can finish a few fights with Hellish Rebuke because that can be casted up too. Upcast at crazy levels. Mm-hmm. It's like I can cast Hellish Rebuke at like level five and do like six D ten with somebody like is 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 like I'm like, man, I wish I would freaking remember these things. Okay. Well caster is now added to your character sheet. Awesome. It's still I mean it's not gonna be on your main thing either, but you have to go find it. But it is be there if you go look at features now. Cool. And I guess if you hit reactions, it'll pop up there. As It'll be in reactions, because you can react with a spell now. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, everyone kind of used all their abilities, honestly. I mean, the only one who doesn't, like, Samson doesn't use his sword in him yet. He doesn't use his physical uh, abilities. He doesn't have much cause to yet. But no, I'm I'm very excited to see how things go when you guys finally do step up to Vezirik. Because you guys at that point will have had multiple fights and kind of done all the things you guys can do. Oh, you have to fight the entire uh, entirety of Sethric. <laughs> I, I, I think I don't think it'd be any secrets of what you got. I don't think you guys have held anything back in the fights. Um, no one knows what I could do yet. No one knows what I can do. Hey, he can do it. I don't care what you say. He can do it. Yeah, the hand, the hand of harm and hand of healing were done underground, so no one saw that. But They never saw that either. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, the box has been seen a few times. The nebulous yeah. net was seen. Yep. Um, By the way, that was a trash-ass fight for X. <laughs> I was so mad with his performance. Well, I mean... Luckily, I forgot to cut you moving in half in the water. Because you would have ran out of key points Sugar earlier. Your name Sugar Neck X. Then what? Your name Sugar Neck X. Sugar Neck X. Just don't fight fighters, X. I remember, I was after I was fighting them, and they messed me up that first time. They hit me like 10 times. Yeah, they got, got like, jumped. <laughs> I was like, why do you feel like fighting the side again? And I was like, oh, shit. Because it was. <laughs> Yep, if, if fucking Donnie hadn't been in the way, they would have been doing that the entire time, hopping out and then both tagging someone up, then running back. It was very clutch. And, and you know, just, just to be clear, everyone saw the thing come off the sideline and go into a person because they could see it in the water. Same way y'all can see it in the water to shoot people. So they don't, they don't know who whose thing that is but you do know that thing can go into a person and then that person will start killing friends <laughs> at least everyone in the front row who sat there and watched it so big veggie dog can't see underground either he was he couldn't he was very far away from the fucking uh mm-hmm. from line of sight on that no I'm saying he can't see underground like he doesn't know what's going on under there either oh, you don't know <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't know if he has ways to see what's happening over there or not. You don't know. 
I mean, it's not like you guys walked around and inspected the whole thing during a fight before. But, uh... No, I mean, you know... I got some shit, though, yeah. We, not, we, ain't, we, we ain't break out all the tricks yet, though. You broke out a lot. You broke out a lot. You broke out a lot of tricks, but I got some shit. I got some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Solora has the, the biggest bag of nonsense because she has two spell books from two mages you guys killed the first fucking fight. Yo, I wonder what's in this freaking scroll. You have the scroll, yeah. It's locked. Oh, is she strong enough to use challenge yet? To use what? Silence or whatever that thing was. Silence Power was word. Stun. The scroll X gifted her. Power word stun. Oh, what was that? Um, Power word stun. I think this might be what it was. I that again is that's way over what she can do, anyways. Still, um, I think what we decided she had to do a skill check to see if she could even copy it down. Was the thing. I gotta go back and see what what notes they made for how that skill check was gonna work. She has not uh, started trying to do that. No. Um, but, uh, and I probably gotta go back and look again and see what I decided it was going to be and may, may have to modify it because, you know, she's really nowhere near being able to use power where it's done. That is a, my harder money on that. you did, that's an eighth level spell. I was being nice. <laughs> I'll go and see what I said and probably modify it a bit, but... Well, that's why we have a party fund now, X. We got a lot of money in the party fund. It's not a money issue. But, um... Oh, X spending his money, yeah. Yeah, it's hard enough. <laughs> but, and I'm still getting questions. <laughs> About what? I, I love it. I, I love the loyalty think... questions X always gets. He's not getting loyalty questions. I mean, maybe from Solara, but... You, you said you don't just... trust him in fights. Yeah, that's not a loyalty question. Kind of feels like a loyalty question. That's a tactical question. Tactical loyalty? No, it's like, <laughs> yo, I think you're an idiot in fights. You, you're still trying to talk when we're fighting. It's so wild. You were so upset about him holding his action to the throat and saying some words to unconscious people. I mean, it's just, it's, it's you gotta be about it when we about it. When it's time to kill, it's time to kill. It's no time to talk anymore. You can't go backward. They, they they were unconscious, bleeding out on the ground. You can't go backwards. It's not backwards. <laughs> it's such a such a weird line you guys draw for things. For yeah. X, nobody else. X, maybe uh, Assad. <laughs> well, Assad, yeah, Assad sometimes too. It's interesting. It's, it's all I care about them a lot. Mm -hmm. It was just like, damn, like, which one's really your crew? So now Mike's like, okay. We're really a crew. It took him a while to get there to feel like he understood, okay, we're really a crew. Now he's like, man, you keep doing weird shit. Like, you still holding on to the peaceful peaceful posse with your ex. And it's just like, yo, we got we to gotta merc. Like, I don't want to kill innocents, but, you know, we got to merc. So, well, no, I mean, like, he had he had a legitimate connection with the turtles. And that ex is he annoying. Tried, he tried to use that to his advantage. And, yeah. you know, had y'all... Tried to speak to Donnie instead of just slitting his throat. There was actually a very high chance to turn him to your side. Because he did him see, yeah, he he did see uh, what X tried. I to lied do. to him and I won the lie. No, no, Mikey, you lied to. Donnie heard the lies and the truth oh. things. Oh, but right. Do Donnie <laughs> was staying there when you offered, you know, the truth to the bleeding yeah, I, out I, unconscious I fucking brothers. <laughs> I can't trust that. We made you kill your brothers, all that stuff. It doesn't matter. I mean, to me, personally, I would just think, like, you know, it doesn't matter that we tried to, like, or X tried to, like, do things right or whatever, but it's like, you made me kill my brother still, though. Well, like, as, as Master Splinter said, they came here to die. The, the other side, too, though, is, like, Beanie yeah. Siegel said in the song, he said, you down with this nigga, and you killed his brother. Don't think he don't know it. Just because he don't show it. Payback's a motherfucker and he won't blow it. Hey, look, man. That's maybe not the best advice to use or quote. But... <laughs> yeah. for, for Donnie, it is, you know... Like like Splinter said, they, they, they did terrible things to bring down the Foot Clan. And they came here for penance. And, 
you know, and not the best way possible, but we gave it to him. Well, no, you did, but he he got to be the one to lay his brothers down for us as a stranger doing it. So that there wasn't. It was not pure animosity and hatred for you from him. There, there was a path to understanding and him surrendering in the fight and it becoming a conversation. Because you guys just kind of slit his throat, so. <laughs> that was, you know. That's how they roll, yo. Yeah, yeah they, they, they're completely, like, again, had you guys made the allyship offer before the see you in the pit, motherfuckers, they would have had that conversation. And, and I think that's the most interesting thing with the way the misfits work. Like, y'all can see, X has tried to do this political route multiple times. So it's not any... It's not like he stopped us or whatever. You, th- you thought of it later. You thought of it late. You didn't You didn't think Nobody of it. Nobody thought about yeah. that. Like, you had a unique idea, and it was a good idea, yeah. Greg, but you, you in, thought in of the, it late. In the prep time, the day before, you guys had to talk about the whole, we're going to go there, we're going to go as a crew, da 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 there was no, maybe we should talk to him, try to turn him. There was none of that in the prep. You thought of it on the way out the door. Well, they need to be flexible like we were. No, you you can't. If it's an afterthought, then they can't trust it. It's an afterthought. Like, that's not something you discuss with the crew, clearly. That's not something they're all on board on. That's not something that, that's a very big decision you made on a whim. The answer I is no. I actually like the idea. Like, that's the other part, too. Like mm-hmm. It was a great idea. It might as well be like, probably like, would have worked. I never thought about that opportunity. Like I never thought about that. It was close. It was a great idea by X. Mm-hmm. But then it was just like, I didn't. I don't think we we jumped on you when you said it there. I was just like, oh, what you doing? No, right? you didn't jump on him, and it was, it was turned down by the turtle simply because it was given as an afterthought. Yeah, so it's not like everybody jumps on X for like. It just like it's it's like all right, we made the offer. That was a good offer, and now it's I feel like you overdoing it. Keep trying. I mean, no, here's the thing, though. Had, again, had you had offered it before you threw a fireball and then knocked them both the fuck out, they would have had the conversation, too. Again, they, they they were here for penance, and that was either death or, you know, legitimate defeat. So they, they were at the legitimate defeat point at that, you know, before the fireball hit. So there, mm. there could have been a conversation, too, but X was too late to start it. Mm. Well... But there, Greg, there you have good ideas. Yeah, I mean, gotta, not me, mind you, not every group's gonna be out. the Ninja Turtles, but yeah, I'm not gonna try. <laughs> no, I'm not saying you should, but I'm just saying you have good ideas. Period. I mean, like that was a good idea. It doesn't mean you had to be peaceful with the next people, but yeah. you have good ideas. You just gotta fucking think of them shit sooner. Yeah, the the, the Foot Clan Blackwater connection was a legitimate thing, and they legitimately saw themselves in Parallels. you. They saw the beginning. Yeah, they saw the beginning of their path in your path. Yeah, I mean that that would have been that would have been an asset, but you know it's also a win. You do get the district, you do get the. If you make them friends, there's not a fight in the pit right now. Hmm. So there are ripples to your, the effect you're having on Sethra. Interesting. Oh shit, that might be it. Somebody's trying to take more districts to power up against us. I mean, we'll see what it is, but the your, the effects of you guys taking three districts rather quickly, uh, that gap in between when the main force was gone, holding the two, and coming back and immediately taking the third, sends ripples through Sethra. <laughs> <laughs> nice too. It was like it was all respect this fight until they skilled skilled the divine. Mice was so upset. He's like, y'all did the same thing we were trying to do to y'all. Well, I said, y'all trying to kill them. Like, and you know, it's it's probably, he's probably the best person to have had die out of the people you roll with. I guess Logan wouldn't have mattered much to you guys either, but. I love Logan. <laughs> I think Logan's a fucking loose can't Look, dog, you know you fucking do dumb shit when you get hit up. Why the fuck did you jump into some shit, you Because y'all were all supposed to be running forward. It's like, charge! And he's the only one who ran up. Like, it was supposed to be the melee fighters, we're running the fuck up. Stevon's dropping lightning. Like, things are happening. And, and then no one else ran up. He ran up, and Oriana ran up. They were slower. 
<laughs> he wasn't supposed to be the fastest. Like, he wasn't supposed to get there first. And when he got there, he wasn't supposed to be standing there by himself. And like eventually, you know, you guys all became multiple fighting, but they keyed on him. And he also didn't know they would just key on him and try to tee him off until he went crazy. That, that's a new strategy because no one's crazy enough to bring out the bloody nine and think they're fast enough to get away. Because most folks will not be fast enough to get away from him should they trigger him. So that's never happened before, man. Well, that's it was a, a good thing we one. held him off. Held him off our ass the whole time. I don't think Very good thing. maybe one person got hit by him. I think maybe one. Yeah. Maybe that was it. That could have been bad. <laughs> it really could have been. But, uh, yeah, because they, they had the uh, escape thing. So if they got swung on, they could just poof. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a rarity. That's not going to be... No one's planning to make Logan go insane and be able to escape it. So, you know, live and learn. He'll be more mindful of that in the future. Should y'all bring him to future fights? Of course you're going to bring Logan. Why not? Well, I don't think any other group's going to allow you to bring nine fucking people. You <laughs> brought nine, huh? Whatever that fucking number was. You were the bloody nine. Oh, yeah, I guess you were. But, yeah, I don't think anyone's going to allow you to bring that, that kind of number again. Did they allow us to bring because they were, like, ready to die? Yes. Or... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we, we brought a nine. That's, huh. that's pretty fucking great. Yeah, they, they wanted to make sure that... They wanted to guarantee it, because no one challenges them anymore. Well, we so, can we can bring that many to at least two more fights. We'll see. I was going to bring the numbers down on those crews, because that's a lot to, uh, to manage. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. You need to bring them down. You see, Four Turtles almost bodied us. Well, no, I don't care about that. I'm talking about as far as having to navigate that many NPCs. No, no, no. Fuck that shit. You should care about that. <laughs> but, you don't uh, want Fino meeting the misfits. <laughs> you always bring someone else. But, um... No, no. It is gonna be, uh... Yeah, they, de they definitely wanted you to bring your entire strength because they wanted to guarantee their defeat. So they actually wanted to lose. Yeah. They they came to something to die, man. That was the penance. They had they they did some really fucked up shit in Craghammer. <laughs> it was either waiting until Vezirik turned on them. They're just killing dwarfs. Little midgets. There's more Popping. people there, but it's not just a dwarven. It's dwarven made it's majorly dwarven, but there's other species there too. Yeah, they they're racist, yo. No. They're man. just killing short people that's not for that, good reason. That's how that went. But the truth. Um, that's why we just, that's why we should feel good. We killed racists. Wow. You know what? The turtle, turtles good. are not racist. The turtles are not genocide dwarves. No, no, no. Not all turtles. <laughs> At any rate, they they, <laughs> they 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 were they were fully willing to kill you all minds and they weren't just gonna lay down their swords. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. But they did not want to leave it up to question. Given the chance, they were gonna say, Hey, bring everyone you got. We're throwing down if we go out, we go out. If we go out, we That's deserve to problems. go out. Mm -hmm. I wonder what their district looks like. I was surprised that Solara told X, like, no, I'm not cool with this shit. That's fascinating. I, I don't understand what, because they had, they went, they made peace on the ship after, uh, yeah. Michelle after... was annoyed. I'll tell you this, though. Michelle was annoyed with, with his actions in the fight. He's always annoyed with my... I, I don't, you mean the, the one thing about the, uh, the talking thing again? Is that I don't understand the issue with that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's annoyed. Like that's why Donatello. Y'all couldn't tell. She, that's why Donatello came through and swiftly tried to kill him. Like, after X was sitting here talking, like Donatello just killed through his pop pop. I was like, yo, she annoyed at this thing. He, he's he he won't kill. No, he does kill. He won't. He took. He saw the so, teaser opportunity okay. and took it. No, nah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it was dumb talking and knocked out people. That that was dumb, but. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I asked him, and he told me that they hurt me. Yeah, you talked to them first, and I was like, well, they they are unconscious, but Donnie can hear you. And, like, you are, you talked first. You didn't get my okay to do it. You just did it first. <laughs> you should turn to talk. I'm like, well, man, they're knocked out, bro, so. <laughs> they can maybe hear you. But no, no, I, think, I think we expect X to be more ruthless. X was X talking was... them down. He had to, he had to double back no, no, out no, no, to get no, no, healed no, no. and came right stop, back in. Stop, stop. stop. X is not ruthless. He he is tactical. He can X fight. Broke a fucker's leg because they kept healing. <laughs> and it right? took a magic. 
Wait, you, why did X break their leg? Because he kept healing. No, he he could have also killed her too. Remember, he X did. Was trying to kill back then. No, he did. She came, they they brought her back. I killed, bro. He ran out of hits. Like he was trying to murder her in the water. He ran out of hits, and they oh, brought wait, her back. Oh wait, wait, wait. Who are you about? The first time you ran into the fallen, when they made the no. little monsoon. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think X was killing back then. He was no, trying I to kill him. her. Yeah, he was. I he crippled her because she and he didn't want to kill her. No, no, he tried. He tried to. He put her down one time. They healed her, and she almost murdered you guys in that fucking floating box. So then he put tried to try to look, straight out murder her, and he ran out of action economy. Yo, come and on, he killed her again. See, let me tell you why this is. I feel like y'all wrong here. This was is in, well, in the beginning. It's after uh. The town, Brian uh, Briar Cove. Briar Cove. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I was thinking Kelstrom. No, because what was Briar Cove before or after Kelstrom? Briar Cove. Uh, before. I want to say it's, it's before Kelstrom. Because after Kelstrom, you had to go okay, to. So uh, we were in Kelstrom. All right. This is how I know X wasn't killing yet. Mm-hmm. We went to Kelstrom. And X was inside the dungeon with us, and he was knocking dudes out purposely oh, trying not when, to kill him. When you guys got uh, captured. That's a different time. That's a different time. No, no. What I'm saying is it happened after. Alex wasn't trying to kill people that weren't Black Order then. But this was the person where I realized I should kill. I can't remember why. He made the decision. It's because she was fucking y'all up. Like, he made the decision that he had to kill these people and was trying to. Like, he legitimately was trying to kill her. He just couldn't put her down. So he broke her leg instead in case she came back again. I remember that fight for for one huge reason. Because you got stuck in the box. Aside, heal me, heal me. Why did I listen to that shit, man? And you, you, you should have, my should have been gone in that fight. Cause you were like, he was hella far in the air, dropping in that box. The four stamina would have killed him. No. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's not. It's not cushioned. No. You, you fall thirty feet in a box when you can't move. You still take the impact of thirty feet. No, that's what I'm saying. He's floating in the middle of the box. No, you're not floating. You're pinned in the middle of the box. You're not floating. You're pinned. Hold on, y'all. I'll get at you in a minute. All right. Yeah, but... No, I mean, I, I, I remember X. I I, <laughs> I remember, Greg, how, how, you know, X actually being ruthless at times and X, you know, being a little wild child at times. They don't want to hear me. Nah, they, they don't hear it, man. My, my ruthless doesn't match their ruthless. That's cool. I mean... We'll see. I mean, what I'm, what's going to be fascinating is how you deal with the Black Order. And then in turn, what marching orders you give to the Light of the Lost. Because, I mean, you straight out got people murdered. Like, access gets people killed with no no qualms. And, you know, you hung out with, you know, the guy who you murdered his best friend for, like, months without saying anything about it. It wasn't my, it wasn't my place to talk about it. <laughs> Sure, sure it wasn't. It wasn't, but you know, it still happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And you straight out just outright poison that guy, the middleman, without any issue. Well, Black Order, you gotta go. Yeah, you got the dude in uh, in uh, the thicket, yoked up by Bill Braun. And look, here we go. My my ruthlessness does not match what they want me to do. It's in the shadows. They're, That's why they're self- they're selfish. They have their own goal. I mean, it's for them, that's what the issue is. Yeah, and it's again, not for- like the, the two knocked out people went out of danger. Like, I mean, even if Mikey came back the very next turn, you having killed those two wouldn't have changed anything. I'm not worrying about what they say. I just know they have misplaced anger with, with X. Oh, it's not says Laura's not mad at X at all. Huh? Michelle just said Solar not mad at X at all. Well, I didn't think she was mad at me until you said she was mad at me. I thought she was mad at you. So you saw in trouble. What was it called? Stir in the pot. Hold on, real quick. Yeah. I'm, I am really excited to see where uh, the story goes next because there, there's some things in the future. Oh. I was, I was telling the Sean I may do a as the world turns little video talking about the things that are happening in the background of the world. Yeah, we need that. 
Yeah, yeah cuz you guys have uh pushed a lot of buttons as it were. Oh you, yo, yo, yo. You saying X is not ruthless. You know, I think it's just more so like, yo, if you said, yo, I'm taking like we got to go on this thing and we got to kill some black water people. Blah blah blah. They, they up here. You know, they after me this and that. The crew would kill them for you. So it's just like I think the team is just like, yo, bro, why is it always a big thing with you? When if you said this to us, like, we would be down. It would be like, okay, X, this is what we got to do. We got to do it then. So X everybody's just like, dog, why is it when it's the other way around? Like, you you don't want to. But it's, it's just not, thing. though, man. Like, X was a key piece, and you guys killing the Fallen at your house back in uh, Nethermost. He was a yeah. key facet in that. He had no qualms right. about running there and stunning those fuckers and beating the fuck up. Like, right. So... What are you talking about? Like you guys, you guys keep acting like he's day one X or month one X. And he's they don't so, gotta, he's come so far from that. Or or I'll say this then, if 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 that was, if I said that wrong, I misrepresented it. It is. There's always something like you say is you're it's never enough for us. But then the other part is like it's almost like how I'm in in real life, right? So me and you, right? If I ask you to help me with something. Whatever you say, yes, cool. Like you ask me to help you with something, I'll always say yes. For the most part, you ask me if I got anything, I always say yes if I can do it, if I if I have it, whatever. I will almost never tell somebody no. But the second they tell me no, because I'm the person that always say yes says yes, I'm like, yo, fuck this dude. Like I'm not helping you next time. I'm not helping you the time after that. Fuck you. Like this is back and forth between us is kind of done because I mean, unless you like it, I can't do it. That's one thing. If you like, no, nah, I don't feel like it today. I'm not helping you. Like, so, so that's what it kind of is just like, yo, dog, like, nigga, kill these fucking turtles, dog. And Mike's just sitting here like, yo, bro, like, this motherfucker don't understand. If they attack us, like, I can't, like, you're hiding because you have low health. I can't come out this box and I'm almost out of spells. The rest of these motherfuckers are not going up close. It just is X up close. Logan's after us, and this motherfucker's in, Oriana's getting lower on health. Like, what else can we do? Stevon just got dropped, you know, or no, Stevon's not dropped yet. Stevon's lower on health. Mm -hmm. It's like, if I run out of spells, then what, who, who's going to save us at this point? I, Solara would have saved us. <laughs> yeah. Samson, yeah, was, mean, Samson was full health, full spells. Okay. But Samson, all he do is oh, no, he lost one fight. spell. No, he has a ton of spell. He has Samson's fucking strong as fuck. He doesn't do anything. all he does is Eldritch Blast. That's very true. But he, he was he came downstairs. He was in close combat. It might have been a thing if he had to. But I will say, so it's just like it's it's almost like it's not like a hey X, you're not being loyal. It's like yo X, I I really don't think you understand how dire this is. Please stop doing anything but killing them because the risk is way too high for anything else to happen. Like, we can't risk it at all. We can't accept any risk. And th that's more so what it, what it felt like that fight. So it's not like, like I said, it's not like you're X, you're not loyal. It's more like X, you're an idiot. <laughs> like, I can't trust you because you're an idiot. Not like, not like yo, you're going to get us killed. Like It's, it's like you're the knucklehead brother. Like, oh my gosh, this motherfucker again? Yo, get your dumb ass back here, bro. That's all it is, and not no hate or anything. It's like, yo, my gosh, like we can't risk this right now. <laughs> Maybe. It's, it's no hate. I mean, it's, it's more so like Midas, he, I wouldn't say necessarily likes X. He's cool with X, you know. The craziest part, though, is that he, he held his action in case one rolled a natural 20 to pop up to slit their throat. So it's not like he didn't take the I'm going to murder them precaution because he held his action to slit their throats if one got up. I got you. So, so I mean, like... So, okay, so look. What if Raph pops out? Okay. While well, he's holding his action to slit their throats. Okay. Then it'd be the same difference if Raph popped out after he murdered them because right. he'd still be in that room out of sight. So where's the change? Okay. So if Raph pops out, right, mm -hmm. X doesn't kill him, he's still over him, nobody kills him before then, mm -hmm. Raph pops out, and Raph fucks us up, gets into the room with him by himself, and, and, and stabilizes one, somehow has a healing potion that we don't know, because we don't know what the fuck How? he has. So, 
So you got them either rolling a natural 20 or rolling three saves, which you're factoring in for him to get there in time, to get past all of you in your box. Yeah, that's fine. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's risk, right? I'm talking about I don't want any risk. Right, but you can just change your box to nothing gets through, period, and he's stuck on the other side. Try. But then the thing is, too, if he's stuck on the other side, who's on the other side? If I can't let anything through, mm -hmm. right? And he's on the other side with a bunch of people that can't fight hand to hand. Maybe Samson. No, I mean he he was on the other the back entrance before you guys moved it. There was no one over there, and you were in the middle of the room. You could have just cut the room in half, and he just okay. Been, had right he came there. back, you could have just isolated him away from everybody. Right there. Yeah. yeah. And his ass would have had to go all the way around in the water, I guess. Yeah. And then at that's, that point, we'd be like, all right, kill him now before he gets around. That's my thing. Like the the, I can see why in the moment it was high risk. But I'm looking at like. I don't know. It felt risky. Really no, it, it, I guess you're in the moment. That's how yeah, I, was I was supposed to feel. That's how I was supposed to feel. But I was in here like, there's not much danger here. <laughs> I was in here like, man, I guess if... Because he didn't see who banished CJ. He didn't even see CJ come in. Right. So he, he can't hit Samson for that. Right. He didn't see... And at that point, Oriana was in the thing with the polymorphed um, Logan. So he can't free Logan. So... From what he knew and what he could free do. Free my nigga Logan. Huh? I said, free my nigga Logan. Yeah, so from what he knew, he had no ability to do anything outside of himself. He could fuck you up, and then that may have dropped your polymorph on Logan. Yes. That was the only oh, real risk. That, that happens whether X kills those two or not. If he, you know, if he frees himself, if X kills those two and comes back to his turn, like he frees himself, and he attacks you, X is still in that room and can't affect him attacking you. You're still gonna attack. X, by Mike. X kills those two. Yeah. Comes back out of the room. Okay. And then you still can't get man. past your box. You're still on the other oh. side of it. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it goes. If Mikey got out that exact turn, X killed those and came out. He's just watching you get hit with daggers. <laughs> Feels dangerous. Huh? I mean, X could throw daggers through my box at Mikey. Yeah, when the turn comes back oh. around, but Mikey could oh, boop, boop, and move. Yeah, he couldn't. He Mikey, Mikey wouldn't have bodied me anyway. It took him. It took him a few times to hit me with daggers. And he, I probably could have took four more daggers too. He would have gave himself but, advantage if it was just at that moment. Like he's just mm -hmm. he'd have hit you with all four. But yeah, he I mean, hit, I think he hit me with all four both the other times. He did. He he popped you with all four. And he ran out the room and he came back. You think he's been in and out? Mm. He'd have been tagging you the fuck. He he did have been a thing. Him, but. And I ate all them shits with saves. Logan, he he could not break Logan out. You did, you did. He uh, murdered you though, eventually. <laughs> but no, I mean, I mean he had so to get in my box. Oh, you just died in the box. Look at me, like. <laughs> well, I would have, I would have stopped things from coming through. Oh, stopped everything. He hit me at once. Yeah, I don't. The only reason he he hit me those two times is because I dropped the box to like let people in the room and like tactically took the box down for reasons. No, he tagged you through the box a couple times. One time, I think he got one dagger through the box or something like that. The other times, it was two more times he attacked me, and it was because I put the box at certain things. Yeah, certain those, settings. Other yes. things yeah, happened. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was a tactically changed it. Like, yeah. the, the two times I got hit with four daggers, I knew I was going to get hit if he came up to me. Mm -hmm. I was like, I have to do this so that we can get people in this room, or we can do this, or we can do that. Yeah. And drop the box at certain things. That's the only downside about the box. It splits rooms. Or downside, upside. You become very strategically important as far as in and outs for things. I wanted it to work as an ambulance, but during a fight, like, if, if we had, like, another strong magic user, I could have used that as an ambulance. Samson is another strong magic user. <laughs> Samson, no. Samson carries buffs all the time, though. Not really, man. Like, he just doesn't get heavy into his spells because he's usually at a distance and doesn't really need to. You guys usually solve things before he needs to like really get into his bag of that's a lie. All the shit he can do. He's having problems with the damn turtles. He could have shoot like if he had like some strong. He was up thing. top the whole time. By the time he came down, he banished CJ, and then there's no other turtles to deal with really. By the time he actually got down there, he banished CJ, and that was kind of it that he needed to do. Before that, he was up top, a century sniping the fuck out the turtles, and then sniping CJ when CJ came off the sideline. He never really got into the mix. He didn't have to. Man, when Mice threw that fireball in the room, we could have used Samson throwing something into that room. You killed him with the fireball in the room. 
or you Chill drop me. them. Like, okay. I mean, I think if you would, like, yell over, like, Samson, I'm almost out, or something like that, in the bond, then you'd probably start tossing heavy magic. But you don't usually communicate, I got two slots left. You just get mad at people. Yo, go heavy magic. What are y'all doing? Why do I have to have two Look, slots man, left? I, I can tell you from playing with Chris in the other game, he saves his shit. He, he will be the last one with 15 spells, so just in the emergency, he's like, boom, 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 all the magic. I gotta actually yell at him in the Wednesday session, like, yo, do the thing. Stop saving that shit. Murder somebody. Motherfucker saving his big joker. Like, yes. looking for the little joker to come out. And it's like, motherfucker, you still only took one book with it. <laughs> he, he's, he's always trying to ensure that you guys don't get in a position when everyone's tapped. And he can usually do that because Eldritch Blast I mean, is so powerful, it's not an issue. I, would, I, would be t- I mean, it's powerful. I have a powerful Eldritch Blast, right? Mm-hmm. I have a hella powerful Eldritch Blast. I still use the other magic because it's more powerful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, that's fair. That's what I'm saying. But, I, it's, it's cool. We could be, you know what I mean? We could, we could be Jordan and Pippin and shit. We could throw dimes to each other, throw oops to each other and shit. This motherfucker always want to be the one using the light magic. Let me do the score. No, oh, you and he did, he, he did Hero's score. Feast too, which uses his six level spell. He did Hero's Feast at, at, for breakfast, mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. So he, that what, he, he used his highest before? spell slot. Um, How long did it last? Is it? It lasts for um no it lasts for twenty four hours so it must have been the previous night yeah he did the night before okay right before he went to bed I mean if anything might you just sit down and talk to him about hey man we should this is how we should start doing fights and as far as tossing the magic because he he is um. He's a level eleven bard. I mean, he has higher yeah, magic so, than you. Yeah, do. I'm like he got he got two more levels on like what's it called than I do. Like I have nine and two, right? But he has level eleven straight in one class, which means he's got access to spells on a higher level than I have. He does. He has six level spells. Exactly. So I'm like, yo, maybe the stronger do, magic you should do. That shit. Yeah. Do do that six level shit, bro. Like I, I he, wait he, till he like feast. <laughs> do that six level shit, bro. No, I mean, I t- just got the fifth level. Gotta have the conversation, man. That, that's that's his his current spot is support and sniping. That's what I'm saying. But the other part though too is it'd be different. Like he since he snipes and everything, like it would be better if he could fly and have the box right. Since he likes doing support, mm-hmm. right? Because then he could actually be an ambulance. Problem is, I like to use the box because I like to keep myself clean. Yeah. So I can blast. Because now if, if I can keep myself clean, I can blast all day. For the most part. You know, if if the whole team is you know doing 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 enough damage and everything, I tapped out of them high level spells pretty quickly. But it was half of them was fucking using polymorph on. Oh god, I think I used two yeah. slows between two slow polymorph. and polymorphs. Yeah, they they used up a lot of my shit. Man, you you were burning through your spells, man. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time I felt like I really had to because I'm like, yo, I can't let Logan catch us. Switching slow left and right was crazy. And that slowing down Logan was definitely a godsend. Because he was fucking coming. No. Couldn't let him get to us. But, like, Samson, since he got all that shit, yeah. Why has got to have a conversation? Like, yo, bro, I see you. We be in fights and you only use an Eldritch Blast. But I've been with you for a while. You should know more than that shit. <laughs> this is what I, I can like do. Can you do that? <laughs> I, like, I, like, I, nigga, I learned the fireball, like, Six months ago, I know you learned this shit by now. <laughs> I know you could do this shit by now. I mean, you know, we'll see. You guys, I mean, each, each, the fights aren't getting easier, so. <laughs> I think this fight was hard as hell for me. But the fights are not going to get easier. Your, your opponents are going to only get stronger. You guys are pretty much caught up to your allies. Yeah. Yo, Stavon was sweet, yo. Nah, he wasn't. Stavon can't cast Call of Lightning inside. I and thought he had hands. He saved my no, life. He, he does. I mean, yeah, he did save some lives, too. And he was tagging up the brothers, but he had to keep saving people. He had to keep healing. He healed Oriana, and he healed X. That, that takes his entire actions to do. And X healed the bloody nine. <laughs> and X healed the bloody nine. Um, but no, the way this fight worked, he didn't. He wasn't able See, to... See, that's another thing. Technically... Silly X. Nobody jumped on him about it, but it was like it was, no, it was a cool. decent idea. No one knew I it wouldn't work. Silly. No one knew have, it wouldn't work. <laughs> it it 
cures it cures shit. Not only like heals yeah. help. It so cures it, shit. It breaks a ton of conditions. So it, it was okay. it was a good try. It can break it breaks stun and nothing in the game can break stun. I had a feeling it wouldn't work. So I mean, I, Brian Brian made this thing like a like some kind of ancient type of curse, whatever it is on him. And I was like, Brian's not gonna let you mess his little fun up. No, I would have. I mean, there, there, there's. It's not. He's not unreachable in that state. That just wasn't yeah, the we thing. Got to roll a fucking natural twenty on persuasion. <laughs> no restoration. That wouldn't do it. <laughs> but um, no, no, no dice roll talky things would do it. But he's yeah, not unreachable. Yeah. Greater restoration, whatever it is. But um, no, I mean, like it. it you guys only lost one person. And only lost one person. Only lost one person. I mean, again, it... the goal is to lose none, but you're getting near the level where if fights start going long, you're probably going to lose people. Or you're going to get very close to it. Because you guys aren't really built for stamina. Or you haven't, ha you haven't learned how stamina fights work yet, I don't think. I was about to say, what type of characters are built for that? You fight us. Hate them niggas. I really felt useless in that fight. Yo. Why? I mean, you <laughs> you were beating people the fuck because you, you couldn't stun people. Is that why? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were still tagging them up. I felt like I was like, damn, yo, I'm, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm doing work right now. I wasn't tagging people up. I was kept missing on shit. Like it was. Oh, was, you were missing, weren't you? Uh, I was, yo, this is the first fight though. Like this is one of the first fights where my rolls are actually high, and yeah. I was hitting. I was I finally felt like yo, finally Mice is performing up to his potential. And that bait and switch was kicking your ass. Oh yeah, it was trying to guess which one. Yeah, the the only like I made like three mistakes the whole fight. One of them was backing the turtles too far up into that building. I should have stopped them in the corridor so Logan would be right the fuck behind you guys. I backed them too far up. I'm okay. They, that. Retreat. they didn't though. They didn't need to go back that far. Because retreating that far retreat, gave you line of sight on F1 too. You, when you, came you, in the you don't want smoke. You don't want smoke. All right. You need to retreat. <laughs> I mean they got tagged up anyways, but I don't know. Um, it, it all worked out. What was the other mistakes? Um uh, completely forgetting that uh the water would not stop the spell snipers. Of raining down hell. Um, and our mistake was trusting you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there was something else I, I should have done that I didn't. Um, like I said, I keep forgetting Hellish Rebuke. I think we'd have put we we could put some more people away if I remember that. It'll definitely be helpful. That's a reaction every time. Yeah, but there's only it's only to one. You can only do it once per turn. No, uh, once once per turn. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's two D ten at at a minimal. All that doesn't make right. you a bigger target, man. What you mean? It's like, oh, he can do that shit. Murder him. <laughs> like, yo, he can't. You can't keep him up. Might have been that target before, man. Kinda. He's been there. I remember what that was. <laughs> I think this was the uh, the other the other mistake would be not having. Hey, yo, I'm gonna call it in. I'm gonna holler till tomorrow. All right, man. All right, thanks, bro. Not, not having shoot having CJ shoot his arrows at you instead of Oriana, or instead of whoever he shot at. Should have shot him at you instead. No, he should not. Yeah, because you probably morphed um, Logan. No, see, that's what I'm talking about. You're not thinking about it the right way. You should have done that. Why not? Because that would have been corny. <laughs> they ain't know who Polymorph who. Well, they know that you and Samson are the spellcasters. And Samson's okay. not down there. I mean, you should have shot him at Samson then. Samson wasn't down there. Samson seemed like the type of clown boy that would do some shit like that. Like, do funny shit on the field. He saw Samson up top the entire time. So oh, it should have been... It should have been Logan's kill been Samson. polymorph, kill the mage. No, no, no. Kill, kill Samson. 
They should never come after Midas. Midas is a nice, benevolent, kind person. Bro, Midas is proving to be the one you gotta drop. No, he's he, not. He's, he's proven to be, you know, the uh, the facilitator. This is the first time. First time what? That Midas is like doing damage. It's not about doing damage. It's about the fact that you can sit in that box and affect the fights. You can put people in that box work. with you. Huh? It's like you can put people in that box with you. You can fly it around. You can quickly change the battlefield based on where that box is, who you're blocking off, and what you're doing with it. That box has been know. very helpful in the fights you've been in. First of all, nobody saw it work underground. All right? I don't know what happened underground. Bro, you, use it, you could use it work. up top twice in the two fights up top. No, no, no. I'm not saying they ain't. They didn't see with the they didn't see how I could change your fight with, with the box. It, it's not a legendary item, bro. <laughs> like the Q Cruiser no. Force exists. No, no, clearly, clearly. What I'm saying is they didn't see me cutting off rooms. They're not thinking tactically like that yet. They ain't see that happen. They don't know that happened. Hey, look, man. They don't know how <laughs> tactical I am with it. This ain't level five. No, they, they, they don't. They don't know how tactical you are with it. But <laughs> they do know is a serious fucking threat, and that. They Yo, wouldn't. They, they wouldn't give the weakest person that item. The weakest person would not be wielding that. And you know, the guy throwing fireballs being impenetrable is a fucking issue. That braces his defense. That's all I wanted. Was a good offense, good defense. No, I, I feel you, man. I do. It's just you know. When I when you gave me the box, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the exact thing I want in this game. And I was like, I could fly with it. Oh, it's been such a headache since. The cape, the box. And then I was like, dang, he gave me the healing staff too, so I could just be a floating ambulance. <laughs> uh, that was my true dream. Is to use it as an ambulance a couple times. Should have been a cleric then. <laughs> no, 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 no. I not that I didn't want to attack, but like if if our group was like, yo, we'll handle all the fighting. Mm -hmm. Like even for a couple fights, might as well, all right. And he just wanted to like he was he, I had ideas of like picking us like a side going in, effing them up, a side getting a little bit low on health, jumping in, grabbing the side, healing them, and then dropping them back in like a Gundam or something. I see. Like yo, Gundam. drop this up, <laughs> drop a side on them. Nah, that would be dope. It really, would. I mean, this well, a side is gone at the moment, but there's still right. chances for that to happen in fights. Y'all, y'all got some on them. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, being my, like, y'all could have healed Logan and got tagged the fuck up. Like, they were, I'm trying to think who was over there, like, Stevon wasn't close enough yet to do it, but, like, outside of him getting jumped, y'all could be mindful of his health and keep him running. No, but, see, the thing is, I mean, I don't think that, I think we are kind of trying to be mindful of uh, Logan. Yeah, it just happened that their strategy was to turn Logan. So that, that would have happened. Y'all couldn't have avoided that unless Logan wasn't in the fight at all. There's no version of that where they don't attack Logan like that. Right. And it, it just messed up because it happened so fast, too. Like, he became a bloody knight right off the bat. Like, we never got any good work out of him. No, he, he took swings at Turtles. He got, like, one or two rounds of fighting them. He didn't get popped right away. It wasn't until the snipers got to the point that it's like, okay, we have to move. Pop Logan first, and we have to we have to go. If the sniper fire wasn't the way it was, he definitely got. He definitely got one full round attacking, at least. Well, the funniest part was when Leo went into his show. <laughs> that was a mistake. That's that's one mistake I made. Is yeah, he just show. went down and went into a show. I was like, Yo, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> what are you fighting? Mm -hmm. You going to the show? No, it up no, his AC, see. but he has. Reactions that would have been helpful. And I forgot about his reaction. Yeah, if he'd have stayed in that show, that'd have been. He he got out of there in time, because I think I had something planned for that. Like probably a fireball or some shit like that. No, not fireballs. Other stuff probably. <laughs> I'm mad that my little synaptic static didn't hit. This was the first time I used it, and the only person it worked on was the joint the massage already took. I was like, oh Damn, man, bro. I completely forgot the fact that that shit in. What? That, that the little sh attack you have, because it has effects on um, people who fail it. Yeah, but it only affect, affected the what's it called massage, right? Right. So it should have had negative effects to it. Mm. Yeah, it should have been rolling a d6 and subtracting it from all the attack rolls. Mm. No, 
Mm, that that was the mistake. That's the one I forgot. I keep in every every week. I kept forgetting it again and again and again. That was the one. His, pulling a D six. His head's already inside of her, right? So his brain's inside there too. Wh- which brain did it? What's it called? Effect. It, it's it's interesting because. Do they both get to rule? Does she get to rule? Which it would have been cool, right? If you did this something like, yo, if I rolled the synaptic static on him, and it and it hit her brain and didn't affect his, so he broke out of the sunken place until she until she broke out of it. That'd have been an interesting way to do something like that. Well, you see, that's that's the problem with this is this is why they got rid of this entirely in D and D because they wrote it entirely broken possession. Yeah, it's a ridiculous thing. I'm, I would be so mad if Savara was against me. Because as might, as it written, is. it can't be affected by anything. Once it's possessed somebody, things, no, only one thing. What's that? Um, the spell evil and good is the only thing that can do anything to the visage. What what can it do? Force it out. A- anything evil. that anything it's not that even can. A high level spell. Hmm? It's not. Anything that can stop possession can force the visage out. You know what I'm saying? It's not even a high-level spell, though. Evil and good. No, the spell evil and good, not sense. It's oh, a different one. This spell. Okay. Yeah, the this spell, spell evil and I good. The spell evil. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I mean, like any anything that gets rid of possession would get rid of the visage, but that's okay. just not a common thing where you guys currently are in the world. Yeah, yeah, because black possession. Over here, they get freaky over here. It's a kink for them. No, there's not a lot of ghosts over here, is the thing. <laughs> You're just not in a high ghost area. They like possess me, <laughs> oh, make me do things. <laughs> it's freaky. As long as between two consenting adults, it's okay, oh, or more consenting adults. It could be a bunch of consenting adults, as long as they consent. But yeah, as written, no spells can affect the visage, it can't be targeted. Like anything, except for that kind of spell. If I was you, you were nice, yo. If I was you, I'd have told um, Michelle, like, yo, we got to beat the Basage to death. I mean, beat, beat Dottie to death. She wasn't trying to have it. She's like, oh, so Laura's not going to let y'all do that. I'm like, yo, bruh. So you could have caused tension with us, with the group, because Midas would have turned on Solara, like, yo, you doing that nut sh- What, to kill, to kill it? Having, huh? to be, having to beat him to death to kill him, you mean? Is that yeah. just the one swing? Yeah. I think she'd have let it happen if this was the way it had to be. Mm-hmm. So, but Solara does not. Solara's not going to sit around while y'all beat him to death. I'm like, what you mean, Solara? Not going to sit around like we gonna beat him to death? That's what we got to do. He got to go out like that. Then. She was trying to be nutty. <laughs> I, I think she didn't want to do it up top because if you kill it up top, the Versace stepped out of it, and she didn't want. Because again, I know, again, I think she's not factoring in that. It was visible when it stepped into. Oh, she Donald. didn't want to do it at all. She didn't want. She said she she didn't want to sit down there while we beat him to death. Oh. She just thought it was too gruesome and evil. I'm like, like uh, making yeah, him you... kill his brothers. Yeah, that was fucked up. I Putting guess him in the second place. I like, guess him in the second place getting murdered would be kind of wild, though. I would say he is not. You cannot feel it. I would say he doesn't feel pain. You just you know. He can just. You know Since your, body, your head leaving your body, you know, that's yeah, all. It's still a super fucked up way to die, but... Separate your body from your soul. Yeah, it's still an insanely fucked up way to go, but it's not a painful one. Not not physically painful, at least. I think Chris lost his character in the other game, so this motherfucker don't care. <laughs> like, he just be trying to be way too risky for me. He's like, yo, no, let's, no, let's do this shit. I'm like, you're a cool motherfucker, but stop. No, I think he just thought it would be a good idea. To let Logan kill all of them and have to deal with Logan later. Like, I think he decided he figured that Logan's one guy and he doesn't have any special abilities. He just can move a quick a quick distance and swing on people. And between all of y'all abilities, y'all could deal with that. The turtles are throwing four a shot and putting people down. So I, I think his thing was that Logan's a less of a risk than the turtles. Because there's a chance to stop Logan. Versus the Turtles who... I don't know. I guess it, they just thought He thought that if you just throw the Logan bomb... Then you can skedaddle while he deals with it. I don't believe Chris 
really thought that. Of course, it's much more of a of a deep thinker than thinking, oh, so it'll just work out in our favor. No way. I think he thought it would work out in guys' favor. I don't think he thought you guys would end up getting killed by the action. I think he thought it would work. Yeah, I think he thought it could work. And he was like, all right, I'm ruling the risk. It's fucking cool. Cool as shit. No, I mean, X was just going for something cool. <laughs> I think... Yo, I mean, Greg do that a lot with X. Yeah. I, we be in the middle of fights. He be like, which one's the one that attacked me? I'm like, yo, he's one hit away from dying, X. Which one is the one that attacked me? I'm like, oh my this god! Is great. It is hilarious. I love it. Vengeance. It, it, I, I I don't say that to him because that's how X fights. But I'll be in my head like, yo, if you just put him down and we only got to deal with one of them, his his turn's next, so he can attack us if you don't kill him. But you could probably kill him right here. Oh no, just the one that attacked you. Okay, all right, go after him. <laughs> what about sometimes get... Greg does some cool shit. Yeah, I know he does. Everyone's kind I of figured their character. An animator. Animation is expensive. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I wish we not not us actually paying for one, mm. but like somebody was part of our crew, our game, and like that, that like took fun and just animated. Like, yo, I'll do this shit. Like, this is fun to me. And then like we could all do different things for the little project, and then they could animate this shit for. Yeah. Like, what about I would the, be uh... to lend my skills. <laughs> We're about to get the... murdered in the uh, Wednesday session. Why? Because uh, we're, we're nearing the end, and we're fighting one of, one of these multiple end bosses. And Manny pulled our maids, because he hasn't been playing for months, but he's been letting us use him. And for whatever reason, he decided to pull him in this encounter. And so we're oh, drastically underpowered. That's we, what you did with Stavon. No, I killed Stavon. That's not the same thing. <laughs> with uh, you pulled him in a traumatic fashion. No, with this, like we were in some some maze where your greatest enemy, uh, your greatest loved one or something, appeared as an enemy, mm-hmm. and because uh, that character, that mage, is soulless, it didn't have an enemy, and because of it's that, soulless, has, around. because because of that. He had, you know, the NPC rule that he couldn't be there because he didn't have a soul. And so wow. I was like, well, after we defeat all those soul enemies, can he come back? He's like, no. I'm like, oh, that's nutty. And so we defeat our soul enemies, do a bunch of other things, and then run into this big-ass fucking fight. And we're down our strongest magic user. And so we're getting our ass whooped right now. Mm-hmm. And I I don't think we can pull it out. I, I don't know. It, I've pulled some shenanigans before, but I, I don't know if I could pull this one. Man, he's an ass. Oh man, he tries to murder us outright, man. <laughs> <laughs> like it, if 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 I wasn't fully sober for all these, we'd we'd have been gone. He seemed like such a nice guy when he's part of our session, but he hates y'all. <laughs> I think oh, it's because I counted too shoot. much of his shit. Like, if, if I had use of that mage, we'd be okay right now. We'd be fucking well. It looked just, it was slow. Just, just being able to throw slow at this thing would be helpful. I heard this, this would be the peak performer. <laughs> like, 10 times, like every every other session. He would, man. That That's just heavy lifting. But, like, even if I can pull. Divine We're Invention out. Huh? We're about to go to Reveria just to kill Dench. <laughs> That's a different Dench, and at this point, I'm not sure you can get into NPC Reveria that easily. No, y'all can get up there. <laughs> It'd be hard to find Dench, though. Yo, man. I'm really excited for you guys. Me, well, every time we had like a million op- opportunities to do the. Uh, do the next session of uh, Rescue Week. Oh. We were, we were supposed to do it all the way back in August. Manny was asking about that too, actually. I, I, gotta, get a, I gotta get it together. But doesn't Sean even want to do it for like his reasons? For no, he does. No, he's, he's still in that. Okay. He still won't I mean, do it for that. How about that though? Because like, his reasons for leaving the game kind of still persist in that too. No, I asked him. He said he's still full on, fully on board to do Rescue Week. Okay. 
Yeah, whenever I get that, to, I gotta. So, I like that so because there's less tension between the teammates. Oh, y'all have created like, this tension. <laughs> what you say? Y'all have created this tension, and you choose I to feel keep like it. This is how we would be if we started some kind of venture. It would be chaotic like this. <laughs> I think it's because part of our part of our personality show, mm -hmm. and essentially we're almost like, like in the game we're a fighting team, but it's almost like a business or whatever. And I feel like this would pop up if we had like a business together. Well, that, like, that's why damn, the main, Greg, why you keep trying to do this non-profit shit. We're not a non-profit, Greg. We're not doing this shit for free, Greg. Everybody be home. That's why the main rule for Rescue Inc. was you guys all know and liked each other. <laughs> you are a cohesive group that works together. <laughs> it's a different feel to it. It's fun. And I, and I get to play it. Yo, I'm so annoyed that Sean was like, yo, I built the healer. That motherfucker tank anyway. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. It's great that you guys are a team of tanks. That's Hilarious. the funniest I fucking think thing. Could, I think if we played 20 different versions of D&D, &D, the Sean's player would probably always be a tank. <laughs> I, he just I, made a cleric, I, and it, it's really hard. It's hard to make a cleric that's not a tank, honestly. Mm -hmm. You'd be a liability. Mm -hmm. I, I guess you could. You could definitely put it in different places, but... But I, I like how he made his, his guy a healer. Mm-hmm. And then he can make he can make us come to him and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a pretty cool. I should have finished building out that class we made. It is, it's very a cool. cool thing he got that got going there. I wish we had like another one or two people, even if they just pop in and out, mm -hmm. with just like, like different abilities. Okay, we we handsmen, you know, what's it called? He's got a room night, so he could do a little magic. Mm -hmm. yeah. We had somebody like a rogue or something like that, or or you know. Somebody just does other shit. It'd be helpful, but it's just funnier that it's all fucking tanks. That's just the funniest thing in the fucking world. Like the I just want to get my rapier so I can get my rogue going. I got a little bit of rogue in me. <laughs> Quinn got a little bit of rogue in him. I really do yeah. have to get that that prep down, though, because that, that was a lot of fun. And I do want to... Um... It was like, wow. It took me back to our first days of, the, of our first session. Mm-hmm. Back before there's all this history drama. and drama and yeah, responsibility. Exactly. I'm like, yo, if Critical Role does theirs in two years, we've been going on this shit for like five now. But they also... No, this, this go longer than two years, man. It's already been almost two years with uh, my Nine. Well, not my Nine. With um, these fuckers. Those, those shitty yeah, it's been, like, crew. It's been a while for them. The shit bells. Bell's House, I like Bell's House, man. They're cool. I truly hate the name. No, no, I'm not talking about the, the squad. The name is just so terrible. I don't well, know why they accepted that. They had, they had the honor of the homie, man. Honor of the homie. Yeah. The name Bertrand's Bitches. That, I think, was pitched. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, hopefully... Uh, no one else gets killed in the separate chapter. Yo, come on, dog. Stop doing this. Ain't no hopeful. You can make you can make things happen. You look like the type of motherfucker that any moment's notice you can make shit happen. All right, so make shit happen. Look, man, I can't I can't fudge the dice here. You can though. Nobody would know. If one of y'all gets eaten by Vezrek, it just happens. I can't change eaten? that. What the fuck? Eaten? He's a dragon. Why do you want to eat us? No, look, he, yeah, I just, he ate y'all. That's one of the things that frustrates me, too. Hmm. Is that when we face somebody that has, uh, like, like legendary axes and shit like that, mm -hmm. legendary resistances. Legendary axes, not as much. But the resistances, Midas does the type of magic that that's the things that always get resisted. It's yeah. like, yeah, you do. I feel good. It's like, I, I ate a resistance. They only got three of them, but it's like, gosh, damn, I really wish this would have worked. Yeah, it's and always going to be your spells. It, it, it demoralizes you kind of. It's like, yeah, I ate a resistance, mm -hmm. but it's also like, I didn't do anything this fight. Yeah, I, I burnt I the spell slot now. So. Yeah, it, it's yeah. hard. It's definitely hard to kind of have to look at that like, well, at least, you know, we're a little bit close. Spell slot. So it's, 
four spell slots for me to actually do something if they decide to resist three of them. Mm -hmm. And I have to hit with all three, all four of them in the first place. And they have to fail their saves. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's got a, it's a lot that goes into it. It is. It really is. And it's going to be, that, that Vezric fight is going to be hard, man. I'm I'm worried about Vezric. Yeah, I'm wondering how we even win that. I, I, because I don't know who else we got to fight. I know we're going to have to fight Custodian too, probably. (laughs) All right, you know, I got to go, though, because my kid just woke up. Yeah. All right, man. I'll catch you next week.